Uh, we live. Uh, we live. Seems good. Unplug the phone. Valdak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I'll have to get to that in a minute. But meanwhile, uh, here we have our big Bio 2 build that's almost done. Um, did I already... Uh, let's just send the construction train and see what happens. Looks like we're mostly good to go here. And how about... Actually, if I park it there, I don't know if it's going to get stuck. Park yourself over here. And then wait for inactivity. And then park yourself over here. And then wait for more inactivity. That should hopefully reach everything. Maybe not. It's a double block. Ooh, you can see the multiple... When it turns a corner, you can see the multiple um, RoboPort coverage areas. Um, but yeah, that is building something at least. What are we missing? A, a lot. Um, so we're missing 18 growth facilities, I believe. And 15... Genetics facilities. Twisty P, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Excuse me. Alright, growth facility. Um, here it is. We've got some in this chest right here. What's that, 13? Did I say we needed 15? We're very close. And then... Uh, what was the other type of facility? Zern. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Genetics facility. Uh, apparently I have some on my person. Four, to be precise. That's not that many. Do we have some more over here? We're missing LDS. Okay, that's eight. Uh, might have to get some... Some stuff delivered here? Well, I could just go build... Oh, hello. I'm going to ride this thing back to the depot. I could just go build what we can build right now. See what's left. Sergeant Dog, morning. Glad you're on. Thank you. And welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Alright, uh, I think I'm going the wrong way now, as a matter of fact. Up we go, RoboPod on, and sure enough, I think we're short five growth facilities, and only two genetic, oh, I stand corrected, um, quite a few genetics facilities. Um, why, why do we have a couple of missing bulk rail unloaders, I wonder? Well, they're done now. I would have thought the construction train would have had them. Yeah, it's carrying 20. How did it not get that job done? That's weird. Maybe the bots are taking too long to build things because there's too many ghosts around and they're starting to respond slower. We've also got a bunch of pipe here. Oh. What are we not loading here? What the? Oh, we're missing space loader. Uh, we're one space loader short. Well, I could always drop that number down ever so slightly. Wait, this is set to 100? That's a bit overkill. I don't think we're going to need more than 50 space loaders on one build. Probably. Um, but apparently we have loaded everything else. 
Well, that's probably why there's so many belt and pipe that didn't get built this time. There we go. I'll set this back to 50 for next time. And we might have to do something about... Uh, the autocrafter's priorities. Hopefully this is enough to get things finished this time. I have my doubts. And, wow, it's already here. Alright, so I need to get some stuff together to make the last... What is it? Eight growth facilities? I think. Not growth facilities. Genetic facilities. Six, actually. And five growth facilities. They should be on full auto. Back we go. And... Let's see, we need more LDS. Should be plenty of that up here somewhere. Here we go. And then... And then that's it. Don't tell me we're like one... We're point one nutrient gel short. Uh... What are we using? Fertilizer. I don't think there's any fert left up here. I think I'll have to go downstairs. Did I finish making the new build for it? Oh, there is some. I think I do remember. It was a very, very straightforward build. But yeah, that should be the last genetics facility that we need. Uh... Or we could consume all of that fertilizer and it's still not enough. Um, we are one nutrient vat short. Are you serious? We're not sending nutrient vats anywhere else, are we, that we haven't consumed yet? Oh, we have. Nice. Alright, so that is six genetic facilities. And growth. Should be in here. And that's probably... No, I'm pretty sure we're going to need more growth facilities later on, right? Need to get more modules as well. Where am I going? Robots, do you think? We're going to need quite a lot of modules here, actually. Um, okay, so almost all of these are speed modules. In fact, I'm pretty sure they're literally just speed modules. This might be like one or two efficiencies. I'll go bring a few stacks, or like, I'll probably grab like ten stacks of speeds so that I bring up excess. It's probably a bunch of excess at the mall now that I think about it. Oh well, it's fine. Speed 3. And some efficiency. And is there anything else missing that I should pick up personally? Uh, maybe just a big container? I think we just need another trip with the construction train. Alright, um, speaking of which, now that I think of it... Oh, I'm carrying a space loader. But yeah, I was, I'm gonna go grab some... some space belts from around here, because they're not doing any good down here. And I know I've left them here. That'll solve that short-term problem as well. And that 
that's it. Alright, please take me to the Spellivator. Dunk, sure. Up we go. And... Begin. Oh, I forgot I brought Space Belt myself. That helps. A little bit. Alright, that should be all the modules. Looks like it is. We need a 6x6. Six six. Uh, it is a 6x6, six six, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't make one of those right now. God damn it. Do we have those lying around? Surely. Surely we do. Up we go. Um, wait, where was I picking it up from? Up here. And I think I'll ride the construction train back. It should be fully loaded in a moment. Fantastic. Alright, please park here. Wait till empty. I think if I was going to do the construction train thing again from scratch, I might not use bulk rail unloaders. Um, we'll use a bunch of stack filter inserters to empty the trains of whatever they're not supposed to have. Oh, we're missing one genetic facility. Didn't I count exactly how many we needed? Bruh. Uh, and then we need the construction train over here as well. And over here. And then just wait for me. What's this? A few pieces of pipe missing still, really. Uh, I guess the underground space pipe. Yeah, there's a lot of those. That does make sense. Alright, so how many are we missing here? 110? I, okay, I wasn't expecting that much. Um, I think... I think we could maybe go back and pick up some more. I was going to handcraft a few. While we're at it, hopefully we can get our last... I could steal it from here. Last genetic facility. Did I, like, switch off the drop-off for... Oh, I forgot it was fertilizer. Fertilizer. I've got some in this chest, and that's all. I think we designed it, but we didn't build it yet. For the fertilizer build. We've got a temporary thing over here. But I'd like to stop using that. There it is. Alright. Um, I'll just search for... Advanced chemical plants 
as entity and make sure I didn't make it and forget about it. This seems okay. Okay, so where do we want to put fertilizer? Um, and where's our build for it? I think this is it. How fast is it? Less than two blue belts. Only 96 nitric acid per second. Uh, that is more than a stack per second, but that's not too bad. Um, and for the biomatter, it consumes it pretty slowly compared to the stack size. So I think we can put this in a relatively remote area. Uh, I'd like it to be close to the biomass production, because why not? And nitric acid, so it should be around here somewhere. How about this block? Um, with its old Holmium plates. Apparently I've already set this to super high priority to get rid of the plates. That's weird. I could have sworn we've had shortages of Holmium. It's probably as ingots or something. Blue Lightning DT. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, yeah, I kind of want to get rid of this. Um, hmm. What's the best way to go about it? Dump it into the mall? How many trips would that take? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, or six. I guess that's not that bad if we use the short train. Um, I can just add this to the schedule, wait till full, return to mall, wait till empty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can just remove that as soon as it's actually empty. It's going to go pick it up from somewhere else, isn't it? No, 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 where are you going? Uh, no? Wait, is that the only station with that name? I think we'd better make it something unique. Empty me. There we go. Wait till full. Did I set it as empty? I hope not. So now it should go to empty me. And then back to the mall. Unless there's a station with this name that's ready to go. Which... I guess there is. Okay. Did we get our pipes and stuff? We're missing... Scaffolding. I don't know if I care about that. Oh. I'm suffocating? Uh... How about we don't do that? Evil plum? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Typing is hard, indeed. Um, alright, so... I know we need, like, a few more space underground pipes, so I'll just carry them myself. And we'll park ourselves over yonder. And I imagine that'll be enough. Oh, did I get the one more genetics facility? I think I forgot. That's a lot of underneathies. Okay. Um, yeah, I was going to go get more fertilizer so we can make a genetics facility. I'll, I'll just grab one. Why not? Uh, 
as we get ready to build our fertilizer build. A few more trips before this will work. Actually, if I put it in the opposite... No, because then it'll never leave here if this one isn't needed. Empty cargo. Why don't I put it here so I just have to click it and then let this one do its thing. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, back to the mall. And we steal. And we make sure we switch off this requester. And this request, that's a, that's a provider, actually. Yeah, no, we need to leave that one on. Get rid of these. Uh, switch off the requesters. Oh, it's already switched off. No! Go back to the dep depot. That was close. And switch this one off. Okay, let's borrow our... Speedy little train here. And wait here. Oh, I left the up Hagen elevator thing on it. Alright. There we go. I think it's done. Let's see. Deconstruct ghosts. Oh, 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 there's a 2x2. Two two. Sorry, a 4x4. Four four. Chest right here. And apparently a couple of flat solar panels that haven't been built. Um, I can just get this guy to do that. Wait for... five seconds should be enough. Mike Light, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. There's our handcraft. And... There is our build finished. Fantastic. Alright, uh, apparently I didn't do the requests up here. Or name the stations. Whoops. These ones are named. These ones are named. These ones are named, and these ones are named. I think that was the only one. Or a pair of stations, rather. Which I forgot. Alright then. So let's see, uh, what are we requesting here? We can tell from the filters. We need genetic data, which, come to think of it, oh yeah, that happens down here, doesn't it? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, we need genetic data. Genetic data. I'll crank it up a little bit more once I figure out how much space we've got again. Um, Vitamelange space. That's 200 stacks. Oh, and that's it on this side, except for the glass, which is going to occupy this area as well. We can easily fit three train loads, but, like, not any, not really anything else, um, in these two. But we should be fine to go, like, uh, a bit higher on both of these. And for glass, how fast do we consume these things? Glass is only 10.8 per second for a stack size of 200. 
genetic data is really slow. And Vitam Lunge Spice isn't that fast either. Okay. Glass will be... 21,000. And... I'll make it 22. Why not? Uh, and there's no fluids on this side. I think that's it. And then... Oh, I didn't name the station. Is there anyone coming? There is. Whoopsie daisy. Uh, so this one's gonna be... Same diff, except... Extract, genetic data, and iron plate. Except, of course... The stack size for glass or iron plate. I think it was experimental genetic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 7k extra... Wait, doesn't extract have a much bigger stack size? Uh, because of the train request stack threshold. We're going to have to ask for a lot. Just like with glass. And iron plate... 12k, I guess? Alright, um, I'm just going to say this is for making genetic data, and this is for making experimental genetic. Um, and the rest will sort of be implicit. Let's see, genetics facility, experimental, oh sorry, genetic data, requesting... Vitamalange Spice. And... Genetic Data. Wait, did I put that up here? Experimental Genetic. It looks very similar. Uh, and don't forget the glass. Fantastic. Switch that back on. And then on this side, um, what are we requesting? Uh, iron plate. It's going into a genetic facility. Not the iron plate, but close enough. And out comes experimental genetic. That's not right. Uh, it's really, no, I'm, I'm labeling this wrong. On this side, we're making experimental bioculture, and this side, we're making bioculture. Where is it? Bioculture, experimental bioculture. And the other two things we're requesting are extract and experimental genetic. Extract. Fantastic. So what are we short here? Genetic data? Uh, why? I'm pretty sure I just checked and we had a million of that. Let's see. Oh. I think I right-clicked the wrong one here. Alright. Uh, provide stack threshold. 100. Probably copy-pasted it from another build. And this one should be solids as well as fluids. Also, this is a... This is not a requester station. What the? 
Okay, that station name is completely wrong. And settings. Uh, let's put down... Active provider. And what else are we bringing here? Biochemical data. Biochemical data. And the usual pair of fluids. Seems good. Alright. And evidently the train has been. Cool. Oh, so we're missing iron plate, nutrient gel. Do I have somewhere making nutrient gel? I thought I did. Maybe not. Uh, let's see. Nutrient gel. Storage. Oh, zero. I thought there'd be like a little bit uh, over this way, but there's no like container for it. Um, yeah, I don't think I have made a build for nutrient gel actually. Um, maybe I should make it on the spot. We've got all this space left over. It's going to be a bit of a obvious last minute spaghetti cram it in there, but like, maybe that's okay. So there's two ways to make nutrient gel, if I recall. There's coal fertilizer, chem gel, bio sludge cosmic. Or we can use methane gas instead of coal and use a bit more chemical gel, half the bio sludge, and a little bit less cosmic. I think we'll just go with the coal. Alright, first things first, fertilizer build. Which... Uh-oh. Why haven't you left? Oh, I see. That makes sense. We only need, like, three more train trips to empty this out. I could use the decon train for this, I guess. We're almost there, surely. Mm. Let's wait for inactivity, I guess. Because that's never going to work. Okay. Probably need to figure out figure out a nutrient gel built. How many things does it go into? Okay, so there's biomass, experimental biomass. That's what we're, that's what's happening on the spot. Neural gel as well. Um, if we want to make fish. I could do that on the same block if I really wanted to. I don't think I will. Not unless we have some high throughput, like indefinite need for fish somewhere. First aid kits, a different way to make life support canisters, med kits. Uh, you can turn them into bio sludge. And that's pretty much it. I thought they'd be needed for Spidertrons. So that's all the more reason not to worry about it. Anyway, back to Nutrient Gel. We can make wood with it. I think it's better to make wood on the surface. I think we went over this. Nutrient Vat's happening on the spot. And we're not taking those anywhere else. 
advanced neural gel. Okay, we have at least, well, probably exactly one reason to export it to the rail block. But I think we'll just put it here to make the actual nutrient gel. So I kind of made some mistakes uh, in that I have a couple of nutrient gel drop-offs here. Because the throughput for it's going to be very, very high. At least when this build is operating at full speed. Kind of wish I'd noticed that before committing to building the whole thing. It's not too late to make changes. Um, in fact, I think I'll get rid of the nutrient gel drop-offs. But now I can just switch them off in case I... I don't know why I would change my mind, but keep that option open. Let's jump into the editor. Oh, that's, that's different. It's down here, isn't it? I forgot I made another area for this. Alright, so the idea is... Uh, one more... Pick up and drop off area over here. And then, gotta put in some scaffolding. We'll see how much we need and then get rid of the rest. Nope. Can't seem to make it neat. Probably put a beacon here. And I'll maybe just leave those belts there. I mean, I could have them go off to the right here and have the drop-offs, have the pickups of these two things over here, but I don't think we'll worry about it. Um, so let's see. Uh, drop-off. Maybe here. That looks like it's connected this time. And a pickup station over here. Except we're not going to need these. And we'll have the output. Well, let's get some... some huge storages over here. And then I think it lines up... Yeah, 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 that's perfect. Just in case we want to export it. Alright, so what's our input? For nutrient gel. Wait, 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 while this is happening, I want to make sure we get the fertilizer thing built. Hey, it's empty! Oh, you can stop lapping now. Fantastic. And then we'll just grab our blueprint. Fertilizer. Uh, I'm going to need to pick these up first. Let's grab our construction train. Park it right about here. Wait for inactivity lots. Ooh, I heard a delivery cannon type thing fire, I think. I thought I disabled this, though. I did. So what was it? Oh. Anti-media defenses. That must have been it. Yep, yep, there it is. One shot fired. Beautiful. And then before this expires... Watch now... Fantastic.
And that should be all it takes to get fertilizer working. Uh, and you can probably just go back now. Alright, there's our nitric acid. It's emptying as fast as it can if we're going to have bulk rail unloaders there. And we just need biomatter. Beautiful. Oh, that's fast. That belt is quick. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I think I need a train to take this upstairs. Well, I know I do, but is that the only place we're taking it? We might use it to make wood. Especially if we use wood to make, uh... To mass-produce... Circuits. And that's pretty much the only other use. Um, but yeah, I think it'll be fine if we... just have our fertilizer train assume that there'll be enough fertilizer to pick up. Wait for full cargo. We need to make a drop off for it. Uh, I thought I reserved a spot for it, but apparently not. We've got one left over here. Kind of wish I'd put it next to the biomatter. Fertilizer and fertilizer. And then set this to everything. That should be it. Oh, and then this one goes here. Wait for empty, wait for full. Uh, one second of inactivity is enough. And we need to give it stuff. We need half a stack of these. 14 of these. do it. Down the elevator we go. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Nice and quick. Through the elevator. Grab ourselves some batteries. I think the second one's going to be a little slower to fill up because, literally, because of this leaving most of them unavailable. Oh, we're done already. Wait, I thought... Yeah, it didn't load up the front one as quickly. As much. I'm okay with that, though. It's still way more than enough for several trips. And then, we already have... An entire train load. Uh, more than two train loads, actually, of fertilizer. Cool. I don't think we're gonna struggle too much with that one. Very nice. Uh, so now that we've got fertilizer in the LTN rail system upstairs, or we will in a very short while. I forgot I made this. Probably should have dropped off fertilizer up here. Uh, I guess it's not too late to move it. You know what? Yeah, I think I will do that. Alright, so this one's going to be fertilizer. This one... Fertilizer... And then... 
change these back to default name. Whoops. Uh, and I'm going to have to move those, obviously. Well, I think if I just drop the provide stack threshold, LTN will take from this one. And we'll set the priority a bit higher. Until it gets rid of all of it. Oh, it's going to push it all to the front because I forgot to limit that. Let's do short trains only. Come to think of it, I'm probably going to make the drop off for fertilizer long trains only. I'll have to go sort that out myself. Alright, back to the drawing board now that we've got more fertilizer than we ever know what to do with. Uh, we're going to need some biochemical facilities. Making, not fertilizer. Uh, nutrient gel. How fast is just one of these? What, what's the demand for nutrient gel in this block? It's like over a thousand, right? Thousand one hundred, I think. 1.2k... If we have the same uh, speed and efficiency settings, one machine is 136. So let's say we make 10 of these, because we know we're going to have to export some. At the very least. That is almost... That That's like... Approaching three stacks per second of fertilizer and half a stack of coal. Uh, and the bio sludge and cosmic water are kind of fast too. Honestly, I think this is fine. For what we have in mind. Um, am I going to have to move that power pole? Probably. I want to put this where I've got it in mind. Or we could do something like this. So how many can we fit under this thing? We're actually more space constrained than from the beacon itself. Um, so it's only fluid out, right? Seems good. What if we place them... like so? Hopefully it actually won't complain this time about mixed fluids. Not that it really matters. Uh, this is nine tiles, right? We can't do a convenient connection. I could do a bunch of threes like this, I guess. No, never mind. We should probably move these over a bit. So we can have the pipe throughput. So each is 136 per second individually. Um... I'm thinking we should bring the nutrient gel in to this area that consumes the most of it from both sides. So we're not going to have this. Um... We probably will have a pump here. actually. Give me a fiver. Uh, really? Uh, 
that seems all right. And then... What about this? What's this? 15 plus 7. That's neat enough. And then? That's... That's looking a little strange. Hmm. Um, I mean, the output doesn't have to be in the middle, but it's probably going to be a lot easier. Two solids, three fluids for input. Two solids, three fluids. So we'll have plenty of room in the train stop for our two inputs over here. Coal and fertilizer. What's our throughput again? 108. If I shape it like this. Is this fast enough? It's actually not. I kind of want to double it. If I can. That might be a, a little tricky. Did you want to go with 8 or 10 machines? I was thinking of 10. But I don't know if we can fit one here. Um... I could move this, all of this down a tile, I guess. Burgers and fries, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How's your stream today? What are we up to? Factorio, fantastic. Alright, so if I move this down here, I can move these guys down one tile and... You could probably fit another one of these up here and call it good. Might have some pipe problems if I do that, though. Alternatively, if I move this, we could maybe make it wider. I think I like this better. Oh, how about I turn these around? Make it as wide as we need to f to have the input pipes down the middle. That might be pretty wide with three... Three input pipes... Um, the biomass isn't that fast, and it could connect like this, I guess. And then what about the others? That's not going to reach, is it? No, I'm pretty sure that's going to cause way too many problems. All right. So this one on this side, this one on this side. Uh, input pipes are going to have to be separated a bit. So that we can... Can I have this like one, two, three? Or even just like this. Uh, don't forget the belt input. Don't forget the belt input. How far away can we put this? If we do it like this. 
Just enough room for one belt without undergrounds. Hmm. But I was hoping to, like, double this as well. Well, I can always use undergrounds for the bells. And then... Uh, can I... This is getting really difficult to fit. I might just have to move it in further. And that underground belt there is totally negotiable. Maybe I'll even have it do its outputs up here so we can connect these over here. So let's just build this as we would like to first. Build it over here, see what it looks like. Give me some power. Alright. How far apart would that have to be? We can at least save some space with the middle one, with the bio sludge. Let's just build it far apart and then squeeze it in. Yeah, it works out the opposite way from what we would want, because this needs to go over here. And this needs to go over here. That's really unfortunate. Maybe I should just do a block somewhere else for this. I'm not gonna pretend like there isn't a little bit of a desire to act as if this wasn't a mistake. Um, but the sheer amount of space that it needs to make a lot of this stuff was good making progress on the big Vita build, which is important because need prod mods, indeed. Gotta have the big Vita build. We've got a decent Vita build to start with here. Well, I've got one block for each step so far, but it's pretty fast. What do we got? Uh, 48... Oh, sorry, 126 nuggets per second. Uh, which doesn't quite support 105 bloom per second. Which wouldn't quite support 115 bloom per second. It's fine. As long as the spice does flow, which it does. How long is this recipe? 100 seconds, okay. As long as the inserter isn't struggling to keep up. Fantastic. Oh, that's a, that's a really quick recipe. Anyway, back to the drawing board. Um... So I'm hoping to fit 16 of these under a block, but I'm getting pretty pessimistic about it. Uh, under a... I think this guy got teleported. Rip. Rip personal bots. It's fine. Um, what's the smallest? Maybe I should do the belt input on the fluid output side. Okay, but that doesn't answer the quest. Answer the question. What's the smallest way we can do these belts? Something like this, no doubt. 
and then that would want to go there, but then we can't do that under there. I guess we can do like a... Kind of a slight S-bend for the gel. What's the fastest or slowest of these fluids? Um, it's chemical gel. Cool. So chemical gel could be shaped like that-ish. And then... Water goes here. I would either have to do it like this on this side or on this side, right? I don't think there's a way around that. It would have to take up more space one way or the other. Because the machines are long enough that I can't connect water thusly without blocking... Oh, maybe. All right, hold up. Let's see. You're going to go here. And then... Connect like so... So water connects like this, and maybe, maybe chemical gel connects like that as well. Bio sludge, nice and easy. Um, so how do the opposites meet each other? Maybe they just don't along here. Um, well, they probably should. Unless. So we would have two columns of pipes and then a middle column, two columns of pipes and then a middle column, right? Something like that. I like the symmetry of it. Oh, we could probably... Put that there, and well, this one would have to come further out if it's not going to do the same thing, which is what we're trying to avoid. So buy a sludge like this, and we could maybe do belt input like this with long arm inserter. Maybe even squeeze it in a little bit more. And this could be a bunch of threes because nine length. Sigma Bean, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Try to move the machines to get the pipes to stand better? Um, what do you mean? Like, rotate the machines? Or like... Or what? I don't really think it's going to make a difference. The inputs are going to line up the same... No matter how we do. I'm thinking... Oh yeah, move this in a little bit. So we're going to do, like, underground...
like so. Kandar Jr., good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And we'll just have to connect this to this, like, somewhere down here or up here. And just hope that the pipes can supply us enough throughput. How much would we need for one column? Not much, actually. Oh, the fertilizer throughput's a problem, because we've only got 45 per second belts. We actually need, like, three half belts of fertilizer and one half belt of coal for each column. Hmm. That's kind of a lot. I'm thinking... Well, we need to take up this much space even if we don't have belts, right? On the fluid input side? I don't think we can... Um... I stand corrected, I think. No, this would connect here. Unless I use undergrounds. Is the fluid going to flow fast enough if I do that? We're going to have to do a test. But, yeah, I think that is about as good as it's going to get. I could put, like, this here and go over here, but I would not do that. All right. So then this goes here, this goes here, and this goes here. We could squeeze pumps in for any one of these. I don't see anywhere we could get a belt to have. Oh, down the middle, kind of. Yeah, we could do a belt down the middle if we want to. But it's going to have to be a small fraction of what goes into this. Uh, let's see. Can we do times 0 0.5? We actually can. Wait, what am I doing? That's totally good too, thank you. Alright, times one. We need... 10 more fertilizer than one... belt. And 10 more coal than zero belts. So if I double it, um, we need 20 more fertilizer and 22 more coal. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we could do a half belt of fertilizer and a half belt of coal here. And one belt of fertilizer on the other sides. So like, also how fast is this? Might have to move these in a bit. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not hard. Oh no, it is hard. It's actually impossible to get the beacon to reach if we do that. Oh no. But that's... Not what I want to see. I can't believe we're one off as well. And I'm pretty sure that's as tight as I can get it. This is five tiles apart. Hmm... Yeah, no, we 
abandoned that because that doesn't work. This goes here, like we were planning. But then... But then what? Pipes on the outside, not middle? That's the first thing I was thinking of. But I was trying to do four columns. So it's going to be the middle one way or the other. Oh. Wait. That's not quite right. It could be this way or this way. Now we'll say it's like that. And then... This is very tentative. here. And then water has to connect to itself. That's still five tiles, but we don't need this one. I think the spaghetti is taking over. That's not supposed to be connected. Uh, I think that's too close, isn't it? We need we need those modded pipes that have a specific direction. From the middle underground to the outside, but probably not long enough? No, it only goes five tiles. Unless you have modded pipes. Nope. Kalman Storm? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Can we get this down to four? Hmm. I really want these to connect to each other like that. I don't think it's doable. So this is max length. If this if this reached one more tile, we could probably do this a lot more easily. Because then actually no. So we need this to go here, right? Because it can't go here, it can't go here. If I move this over, I think it just shifts the problem slightly, doesn't it? Unless... It would have to go... Yeah, 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 there's no way... Can I use a 3B somewhere? So that it doesn't connect on the sides. I think it's just barely not possible to do it that way. I mean, this could be a 3B. I don't know if that helps anything. We need this to be like a 
double length. It doesn't connect here. Are those steel or normal pipes? They're space pipes. Hmm. Something of a puzzle. Oh, what if I... Can I fit that? Yeah. I, I can do that, right? Well, it would have to... Okay, okay, okay. We might be getting somewhere here. And then we just have to have more undergrounds arbitrarily. And it might even be possible to do a belt through here. It would be hideous even if it did work. Okay, um, is that right? So this would be... No, this, this is in the way of this, isn't it? This would go here, and how are we going to get that? Oh, well that should be pretty easy actually. So we just have these two undergrounds here just so that this doesn't connect. Is that it? I think it might be. Alright, let's give it some fluid and check. So if we have bio sludge here, uh, it would help if that was connected. And cosmic water. And chemical gel. I think that's it. Now, will our pipes be able to keep up with the demand is the next question. I think I'll just paste this over here in case I, for some reason, want to come back to it. Yay, indeed. Grant, thank you. Alright, so we're looking at... 554 cosmic per second. That's probably okay. Pro probably? There's definitely no room for pumps in that pattern. Um, 87 chemical gel is definitely going to be fine. 435 bio sludge is probably fine. Okay then. And then... Same thing on this side. And that gives us 16 machines under a beacon. For... More than 4 stacks of fertilizer per second. 2.2k nutrient gel per second, almost. That's probably all we'll ever need, I think. Uh, one belt of coal. Uh, 217. Five belts of fertilizer. That's kind of nasty. So each column needs more than one belt. Hmm... Can we fit this over here? Oh, we can. Yeah, I dare say we could make that work. 
probably just have to have a regular old not super fast output uh, on this side for the for the train output but that's okay so the tricky thing now is the belts and if we're only looking at 544 nutrient gel output per like column of nutrient gel it's probably going to be okay oh wait what what am I doing? Wait, what am I doing? Does this just fit here? It actually does. Well, that's easy. And then we need... The problem is we need more than a belt of fertilizer. Hmm... Even if I have belts going in this way, this way, this way, this way, that leaves the question of where does the coal come in. I might have to make it a bit smaller. Or this could just be one of the few builds that we actually hope to give. Wait, 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 wait. Don't we have some deep space belt? Like, just a small amount. Uh, all surfaces. It's not in black. I think it's in, like, red and green. Oops. Shouldn't hit refresh, I guess. We've got 257. I think it's all in here. Probably. Uh, we've got a... So how fast is it? Like, double, right? 90 per second. So we've got 257 plus 200 plus 67. 22 plus 22. 44 undergrounds. Uh, 23 splitters. All right, all right, all right, all right. What if we made it with deep space belt? I'll just use black to design it, I guess. Oh, I think we had by far the most cyan, right? Cyan, deep space, a belt. And then a bunch of yellow. All right, how fast, how much is this? It only stacks to 50, that's... That's rather cruel. Um... I'd kind of like to have loaders. If we need enough to bring in deep space belts. But suffice to say... 54 per second is still more than half a belt though. So unless I'm going to do, like, a perfectly measured sushi-ish input, that's never going to work. That is never going to work. We need a hundred and eight. Just barely more than one belt of fertilizer plus half a half of a white belt of coal between these eight machines. Glacier Wolf, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Isn't that production a bit excessive? I hope so. I should certainly hope so. Uh well, okay, on this side, we need less than one belt. Uh, less than one deep space belt of... 
of fertilizer and way less than a space belt of coal. That's probably okay. We're only using 11 here. All right. So if we go superior inserters, superior long inserters, naturally we'll make the deep space one a bit slower. The yellow one in the middle is not connected. What are we talking about? Oh. Indeed. Fantastic. Good catch. Alright, so this is going to go here. And we're basically going to do the same thing. What are we up to? Only 20? How much do we need for just four? Bit more than a white belt. Yeah, 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 that's right. That's fine. That should be fine. How far does the deep space underground belt go? Uh, not that far. But I could perhaps, like, have a splitter here and... Nope. I don't think I want to do that. We'll see. Bio 2, the second and third machine row. Bio as well. This one? Fantastic. All right. All right, all right, all right. So we're going to have... I could use undergrounds to reduce the count of actual belt that we need. There should be... I was going to say there should be plenty of room on the outside, but maybe not. We could use space belt, perhaps. All right, let's remove that. Place this in the middle. I should probably just put it over here somewhere, to be honest. Yeah, why not? Well, because I wanted it to kind of line up with these, but that's not going to work out anyway. Uh, also, our substation pylons are probably going to have to look a little bit more messy. Probably. But let's say we start with that. And we'll have room for our belts to come up through here, I think. So if we have, what was it, three fluid drop-offs. What's the desired output from that build? Liquid? Yes. Yes, indeed. Uh, how much do we need here? More than one belt of fertilizer. Ten of gold, just like we saw before. Hmm. What about... What about, what about, what about... But we could do like a 
couple of white belts here. I hope we haven't already had output up here, because I think I might want to change it. We have not. Cool, cool, cool. Let's leave that facing somewhere else. And we could maybe do our inputs up here. I think we established we only need one station for the solid input. That's not going to be a problem. So we could have like... Coal... How about this? Coal? Uh, what was the other thing? Fertilizer? And even more fertilizer? That doesn't actually work out as neatly as I was hoping. I'll probably end up running out of space for this. We'll figure it out. So one and a half belts of fertilizer and half a belt of coal for this column. Should be fine. Let's do our inputs, or our solid inputs anyway. Um, set filters blacklist, and shift right, shift left. Perfect. And then we should be able to... Keep up with the solids there. Um, and just to confirm, let's do some inputs. Bio sludge, a cosmic water, and cosmic gel. Yeah, the belts should be able to handle that, no problem. So far, so good. Do the same thing on the opposite side. And probably rapidly run out of outputs to support this lot. But we'll cross that bridge in a minute. And I just copy paste flip this. Seems good. And don't forget to melt the output. All right. So we still need, um, well, what's the total that we need for eight of these? 108, it's a little bit more than one fancy belt. So really we kind of need two fancy belts. Hmm. Wait, do we have loaders for these 90 per seconds? I don't think we do. For deep space belt. Oh, we do have deep space loader. 
Wait, 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 no. Uh, it's not whether they exist, it's whether we physically have them already. Um, and I'm pretty sure we don't. We've got belts, undergrounds, and splitters. So I would need a pair of space loaders to keep up. Looks like Deep Space Loader only comes in one color, so we're only going to have to search it once. But yeah, sure enough, we don't have it. Um... So these two can make one Deep Space Belt? We'll obviously use some undergrounds to save space, but whoop, 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 nope, 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 nope. Nope, and furthermore, nope. That needs to be just fertilizer. And perhaps... I'm going to need to move these. Oops. Uh, perhaps we could... Technically, I could do it like this, and then... And then like that. But I really hate having, like, a couple of items stuck on the belt until the end of time. Two... Space belts per four machine, indeed. Well, no, not quite. Um, for the fertilizer, it's slightly more than one space belt. No, it's slightly more than one space belt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and far less than that for coal. Maybe I could sushi it here. Sushi with the deep space transport belt? What's our ratio that we need? Um, no, the whole thing totals more than 90 per second. So I think uh, this will have to look something like this. Otherwise I will just not be happy with the look of it. I guess I could put it down here. Uh, that looks even weirder. Alright. So we're gonna have to have... I guess I could just do it like this. Gonna need... Some extra undergrounds, like so. And we could just do it this way. That seems alright. I guess we could belt weave, although I don't really want to do that. It might be a bit tricky to do anyway. You're doing the same on the outer lines? You can feed another line from the bottom? What you, oh, like here? Hmm. So just grab these. And what? Run more belts past this, and then some down here. No, I don't like that as much. Alternatively, I could have it go all the way around, but I don't really see the need for that. But how are we going to get our space belt here? I could just have... 
I could probably make it neater, honestly, if I put our substation pylons on opposite sides. Let's put one of these here or something. I think we can just disconnect this, disconnect this, and that would actually look a bit better. This doesn't even need to be here, probably, maybe. Anyway. Yeah, and then we easily have room to bring our space belt through. Uh, should I commit this in? I mean, I don't really have to. We can just do it like this. That's not too bad. Little zigzaggy action. If you run two space belts, three by foot, one coal around and feed four machines of the middle from the t from the bottom and feed the other four machines from the top no fancy belt needed it'd be a lot more belts i mean what else am i going to use like a handful of fancy belt for how much is this 48 it's really not that much uh, we still need coal to find its way over here. Um, which is just a little bit awkward. But I could probably move all of these down a tile. And then, how much coal do we need? Like 20 per second. Should probably take it from both sides though, I don't actually have like a balancer thing here. That's fairly tidy. Oh, right, I forgot. Whoops. Uh, we're going to put our output stations over here. A standard bulk rail load. That's the wrong type. Bulk rail loaders with some delivery cannon chests. Should have just copied pasted, then I wouldn't have ended up with this in my inventory. Um, but yeah. That can obviously just find its way over here. Seems good. And 
So how much is this? 1k. And this whole side? 1.088k. 1.088k? Hmm, that's actually an exact ratio. Alright, we're going to change this part up a bit. And we're going to need some... That's a little bit awkward. Oh, I could connect this over here as well. I definitely don't see any harm in it. to delete all the excess, if we're seeing if these work. It certainly looks like they do. Fantastic. I'm actually quite happy with this build. Oh, uh, fluid drop-offs. We need three fluids to be dropped off, probably here. And how are we going to do that? Bio sludge is the slowest, right? At no, no, no. It's um, chemical gel by far the slowest. At like a hundred, less than two hundred per second. Where's my huge storage? Um, we're going to have plenty of room here, so we can do this however we like. I could make it so that all three drop-offs are nice and fast. Probably a good idea. So we can have two steel pumps for each type. Maybe even more than that for whatever's consumed the fastest. Cosmic water, 1.088k per second. Okay, how about... That doesn't actually work. This does. That should be fine. All right, we're going to connect this here. And these are going to be cosmic water. And doesn't really matter for the other two. What's our throughput? For each half, it's like less than a thousand, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Um, can we fit three pipes this way, though? We could probably do chemical gel like this. And then we don't have to worry about doing chemical gel on the other side. See how that fits. So far so good. And then... Hmm. The belts are kind of in the way. Belts are kind of in the way. How much cosmic water? Cosmic water is the fastest one, right? Like five, six hundred, call it six hundred per side. 
I think we should just run a pair of belts all the way down here for each. But that would mean one, two, three, four belts coming through this way. Can I move this up a bit? Uh, not really. If I move this up here. And this goes here. That gives us a tile here. Uh, and this one probably doesn't matter as much, we'll see. That's unfortunate. What about bio sludge? Oh, that... Uh, I could change this one here to a 3B. I'm going to want to change all of them to a 3B like this if we're going to do that. Just for the look of it. But that still doesn't reach. Oh, it needed to be up here, didn't it? Hmm... Hmm. Morning, Viking Gamer. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Adanaran. Welcome, welcome also. Alright, um... Oh yeah, I was trying to figure out if I could get one, two, three, four tiles down here if I move this whole thing up one. Can we do that? Probably. Yes, I think we can. Alright, so cut. And paste. And this goes up a tile. Hello, Huz. Hello, chat. Lancelot K. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we've already got the chemical gel, is what I just realized. So we don't actually need as many pipes down this end. Right? Oh, except we need... No, we need four, still. Yeah, no, that was wrong. Um... So... How about... Cosmic water, like so. Bio sludge. Hmm, I forgot this would have to, like, jump over. That means even more space. Unless I could do another pipe up here somewhere. I was trying to do bio sludge here. Is that okay? We only need like a thousand eight hundred and seventy bio sludge per second, so actually, yeah, we can probably do it something like this. Let's say this is bio sludge. We'll probably have one a pump here anyway. Um, but more importantly... Bio sludge up here... I think this will be a niner. We can add a pump if we need to. Cool. Oh. 
So cosmic water, despite needing two pipes of... It's actually barely more than a thousand. If we have pumps and stuff, we probably don't even need two pipes for the bio sludge down this way. I mean, cosmic water, but I think I would rather have it and not need it. How about some freebies here? Is it going to cause it to go faster or slower if those connect to each other? Whatever the case, uh, that's not going to be any good. Need some fibers, I think. Hmm. Well, they don't line up very well if they connect to each other anyway. How about a 15 here? That looks perfect. And then 15s along here. That's not quite right. How about a couple of 9s? It's not very satisfactory either. Whatever, it's fine. So, pump down this way? Perhaps? And... like this? And then we need some... Something similar on the other side, I think, would be good. Because we can't fit it here. Maybe this one should be cosmic water, because... We're going to have a much easier time getting a high throughput from it. So bio sludge could be up here, actually. And I don't think we even need a pump for that one. Uh, 870, yeah, we should probably have a pump. Why not? But I doubt we need more than one. All right. Uh, in which case I just completely took back the thing where the fastest thing outputs fastest. Whatever. Trains will be able to keep up. Good morning, convict Vux. Uh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So if this one's going to be cosmic water... Um, that's almost perfect. Let's make sure we add a pump, and then maybe a seven. Unfortunately, we're having to add a couple of extra pieces. It's probably fine. Oh, that's probably in the wrong spot, actually. Because... We want this to connect. How about this? Yeah, that's good. I definitely like that better. Alright, cosmic water? Uh, chemical gel? And bio sludge. And all of these should activate. Unless we've made mistakes. It 
It looks like they're getting where they're supposed to go, but bio sludge is taking a little while to saturate. Maybe it could use another pump. Can we fit one here without even trying? Fantastic. And let's see if those will go full speed. That's looking pretty good. The one at the very end is having no trouble, so... Bio sludge isn't an issue. The ones at the end of cosmic water... are not having any trouble, and I don't think we even need to think about chemical gel. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, now we still need to connect um, uh, what is it called? We need to connect the nutrient gel to these somehow. Somehow. Um, is there just enough room up here? Not really. I could do one, two on this end, and one, two down this end. That might not be too bad. They're a bit over 1k between eight of them. I don't know why I can't manage to enter the uh, enter in editor mode in my SE game, but it works in other save. Did I miss something? Uh, I don't know. Do you mean with the editor extensions mod? So now I'm wondering if I can move this down a tile again. Which it looks like maybe? Alright, you know what? I think, uh... I think we'll connect all of these down this end, because why not? And... How many tiles is that? Seven? Five, six, seven. Fantastic. Um, certainly doesn't hurt to have some redundant output spots. What's that? Four tiles. And then maybe put a pump over here. Seems good. And another one over here. That could also be a pump. So how fast is this pumping? Oh, uh, we're not, like, consuming it all right now. Should probably connect a void pipe over here or somewhere. So let's see how fast this is pumping now. 1088 per second. Cool. So we should be able to supply this side through that. And the whole thing, the whole block does like 1.1k. And I'm also gonna have uh, the nutrient gel going through this way, just to be sure. We also need it to... oh, it is connected. Beautiful. Nope, that goes that way. Um, I could probably just turn this around. This is going to be a lot of work to update with all the stuff we've already placed. Um, that doesn't... Uh, 
that needs to be removed first. Okay, but can we also get, like, potentially half the output up this way? Realistically, not that much, though. That's a good fit. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Uh, two fives and a three, I guess. And then over here. And I want these to connect up this way. Oh, are they connected this way? That'll work. That'll work. I'll do this first. Just bring it up through here, I think. Wait, is that a 7? That's a 9. Uh... No, I kind of want to do it this way. Grab the 15. And scaffolding up here. 15 is going to be too big. Uh, what if I put it here? No, unless we do an underground. Maybe through here as well, though. Perhaps. Alright. Yeah, that's kind of in the way. Let's do a nine and a three. And bring this over here. One off. It's fine. We'll pretend it's fine. I think it's save dependent on the personal lab setting. Yes, yes. Player or force, I believe. Yeah, if you go to settings, mod settings, and per player tab. Uh, if you've got the Editor Extensions mod active, the last setting under Editor Extensions is called Testing Lab. You'll want to switch that to something other than off. Uh, if you're trying to get the surface that's like parallel to your main save. Okay. I think I'm going to have to borrow an output station here. Uh to export the gel. But that's not a big deal, I think. Probably do it like this way. No, I think we'll do it here first. All right. Let's grab another 15. Perfect. And then there's not going to be room for a pump here, is there? Actually, weirdly enough, I could do it that way. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with this, I think. So that'll allow fluid pickup as well. As solids. I 
I think that's a build. Should probably test. If it's consuming all the chemical gel, whether it gets where it's supposed to. And that fills up quickly. So we're looking for bioculture, we're looking for. Where am I gonna put this cheat input? Oh god, I need to redo all of them. No, I think we just need to redo this one. So, like that. At least for the moment. Don't give us these, though. Let's see how that works. First, we need to wait for that to resaturate. Hello there, AK90. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Are all of these active? I think they're about to be. Are we keeping up with the fluid? I think we are. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, I think it's time to start pasting this into our game. Um, just tidy this up like so, maybe like this, um, there's already going to be a bunch of scaffolding, we'll just remove it after the fact I think, alright, copy paste, Something like that. And... We're gonna have to decon some stuff first. I can... What are you... Why are you cycling? What? It... Huh? Why... Is it coming back to itself? Can't complain you? Uh, I won't complain. What the heck is this? So this train stop... What if I added, like... One second in activity here? And then this station goes inaccessible, which this was never needed before. Maybe because it was always empty by the time it came here. Uh, all right. Well, do we have some empty room in this? I think we do. Let's send you over here. Wait until full. And then we're going to decon a bunch of this stuff. Oh, we are going to need a bunch more scaffolding as well. And 
across this way. And up here. More or less. Alright, can we paste this in? I mean, I'm sure we can we can start. Scaffolding over yonder. Let's just add all of this and then maybe remove some after the fact. Gonna need some over here. And about here. Forget this stuff. What is this doing here still? Are we out of scaffolding? There are no bots in this one. Uh, are they way back here? No. Let's just fly over there and help. Hmm. Okay. Roboport's on. More importantly... some bots in here. Uh, why is this not getting placed? Oh, there's a bit of scaffolding missing. Here. All right. Uh, are we missing much else? We can go and decon these. Not that. Don't strictly need those two signals, I guess. We should just start putting this together. Probably be the easiest way to see what we're missing. Need a bit more scaffolding up here. Alright, let's bring construction train into it. It's trying to load something still. It's scaffolding. You know what? Just stop the construction train carrying scaffolding for now. 
We're going to need a lot more than five biochem facilities, though. There we go. Alright, please park over here. And wait indefinitely. And I might need to move you over here after that. Fantastic. Okay. I haven't set requests for this yet. Uh, so we need the three fluids here. And we can only fit 100k of whatever this is, so I hope it's bio-sludge. Oh, I mean, uh, not bio-sludge, the slowest resource. Um, that is to say... Chemical gel. Which it is. Oh, you know what? Let me uh, let me set this a little bit lower because we don't want it getting like attempted to be overfilled. Uh, the thing that we need the most of, I believe, was cosmic water. We'll go for like three train loads of that just to be safe. And bio sludge was pretty fast as well. Oh, and do I need to swap these around? Yeah, 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 that's that one's bio sludge. And this one will be cosmic water. This one is chemical gel. Cool. Construction train's gonna need to make another trip. The pipes. Oh, it hasn't moved over here yet. That might be the problem, but I suspect it is not. Alright, we need to go get more pipe, uh, we need more speed modules, there they go, and we need to go and get fancy belt. How much fancy belt do we need? Why don't I just carry all of it? It's less than one stack of each blue thing, but not splitters. Fantastic. You can set it to 900k? What would I set to 900k? Wait, I did set it to no Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. I didn't switch it on yet though. Fantastic. How did I go for 900k there? Oh, one too many digits. It was supposed to be 90. There we go. Zonia, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And thanks for the tip. Good catch. Alright. One of these and one of these. And we'll take the construction train back once it's loaded. Hopefully that'll be enough to get everything done. 51 pipe, 34 underground, that should be fine. Uh, we just need to remove the cheat pipe. And that should pretty much be our build. There we go. 
Uh, and we need to set requests. This one's already set correctly. Um, but it's going to be requesting... Fluids. In order to make... Nutrient gel. Perfect. Let's switch that on. And then we need coal and fertilizer and nothing else. Coal. Um... One and a half train loads of each should be fine. Actually, fertilizer's kind of fast, isn't it? We can fit three train loads. Plus a little bit. Uh, let's see, 640 stacks. Minus 100. No, that's six train loads. It's three cargo wagons on each, on each side. No, it's not. A cargo wagon is 50. What was I thinking? I think I've been miscalculating and being way too careful for a while. Scobix, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. So yeah, if we can fit six train loads, then we can easily say... Uh, try to maintain two train loads of fertilizer. Cool. Oh, did I turn that on already? No, we're good. So that's going to be... One pipe is not connected? Alright, we'll get to that. Uh, coal and fertilizer. Requester. And once again, this is for making nutrient gel. Fantastic. I think we can switch that on now as well. And they're already on their way. Why don't we have cosmic water? Why don't we have cosmic water? Why is there so little? Uh, because we're not making it fast enough. 200 per second. I remember thinking this was a lot. Can we fit a beacon in there? Um, yeah. Yeah, we can. I could do one here and one here if I wanted to be equal about it. Do I have some scaffolding on me? Nope. We've got the construction train here, but I don't think I have it carrying any scaffolding right now. I could steal some scaffolding. No, oh, don't, 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 don't. I want it for myself. Shoot. Oh. We definitely missed a little bit down here. Oops. Oh, we do have cosmic water. Uh, what are we missing? Bio sludge. I thought we had bio sludge. Didn't we have to make a storage for bio sludge? Uh, how much is this? It is 42k. Huh. Hmm. Check all the ways we make bio sludge. 
I'm sure we're going to need, and I probably don't already have a build that just deliberately makes bio sludge yet. Growth facility, water and wood. Cosmic water and wood. That's super easy. How fast would it be, though? Cosmic water and raw fish. Don't think we'll be doing that one. I'm pretty sure we only need, like, a small amount. Like, based on the last playthrough. I think we only need a relatively small amount of bio-sludge production. And kind of like thermofluid, it goes round and round in circles. And some products even give us contaminated bio-sludge back when we're not really looking for it. Um, I don't suppose what we've already got would be, like, net positive on bio-sludge, right? That should trigger a delivery. That's not the delivery I was looking for. Whoops, don't get run over. Um, I guess we'll just see if this triggers bio sludge as well. How much bio sludge did we have? 42,000. Oh, provide threshold. Yeah, I didn't need to change the request threshold, I think. I just needed to drop the provide threshold. Alright, where's this going? Right where we want it to. Fantastic. Cool, cool, cool. And that's actually everything. Alright, construction train, please return. Just for a little while. And we'll see how this goes. Where's our bio sludge train? Oh, it's picking it up still. Surprisingly slowly, but this area doesn't produce it all that quickly. How much cosmic water do we have saved up already? 87k. Alright. A little bit faster than I was expecting. Yeah, these are all like minimum speed though. Well, not technically minimum. Why? How did you... Oh, you probably... Uh, you probably requested, like, the very dregs of what was left in here, didn't you? Didn't you? There you go. Here comes our train. Nice and fast. And... There's our chemical gel. Uh, not chemical gel. Nutrient gel. Oh, and I didn't finish making the output for this either. I, I have a feeling that's going to cost more than 42 tiles. Well, let's go make the speed up for the cosmic water first. Salevix, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think I flew past it. There it is. And then wide area bacon. Give me back those efficiencies. You know what? I think this would be faster. Decontamination facility. I wish we had a search here. That would be very helpful. Here it is. It's already set up correctly. Cool. 
Cool. So that is negative 70% power consumption. The water's actually struggling to keep up. Uh, that's, that's kind of fast. I'm almost afraid to put the mouse over it, like I'm putting my fingers near heavy machinery. Alright, so what's our rate now? It's not quite as fast as 680 per second. Um, we're doing like 2.25k per second on either side. So over 400. In reality, we're doing over 400 um, per second. Maybe I should have put more, like, water storage right next to all these, instead of just making this directly. Especially if it's going to be bursty when the train picks up 60,000. Alright, so unsurprising, uh, surprising no one, this is all the way backed up already. Um... What else do we need? Uh, I need to fix the way this fits together. Gotta get the construction train back. Wait until indefinitely. So, we've already got all of our inputs, except bio sludge. Uh, was this supposed to drop off bio sludge? I think it was. And I know we don't have any right now. maybe connect them somehow. It's going to be a little bit of a pain, though. Oh, maybe not. Maybe that's actually going to be pretty easy. That should be a five, and I shouldn't have removed the corner. That's uh, unfortunate. Can I maybe make some room? There we go. Make that a nine. And that actually fits really well. And I kind of forgot I had this, uh, Drop off for bio sludge up here. I guess we can still request it from LTM. And is there any reason not to turn this on? I don't think so. Fantastic. So we don't have uh, extract. Probably just because the stack size for that is ginormous. Um, we don't have experimental genetic data because we don't have biochemical, because we don't have biomass, because we don't have bioculture, because we don't have nutrient fat, because we don't have iron plate plus nutrient gel. Uh, Request stack threshold 100, iron plate 12,000 is 120 stacks. 
And I did put it in as a negative. Why are we not bringing iron plate? Oh. Well, that shouldn't have caused a problem. But... We've definitely got the iron plate available in LTN. Oh. Oh, there's a train waiting. I left the construction train in the way. Well, there's your problem. Did we fix this? Uh, yes, we did. But we still don't have nutrient gel here. Because I didn't turn these around yet. Cool, cool, cool. And here we go. Here come our first vats, other than spaghetti. Fantastic. This day shall be a glorious one. There's our first rail-based biomass. And filling up very quickly indeed. Well, not as quick as I thought. It hasn't all warmed up yet. Once it has, we're looking at more than five stacks per second. first recipe takes a while. 80 second crafting time. But yeah, now they're all active. Uh, except these two. Once they're all active... Oh, bio sludge is slow. Bio sludge is slow. I think we've already run out of it. <laughs> Stack limit of five, that hurts. I know, right? That's why I built a big uh, monolithic build here, because we've got some stack size five items which only go to like one or two machines ever. Uh, unfortunately, I can't really go that far with biomass, but we can keep it all very close together. I mean, technically I could, but I don't really want to. This build was monolithic enough, as it is. Do we even need that power pole? Probably not, actually. Uh, but anyway, I think the next step... Uh, hold on. We don't need this. And... We were going to change this one. And the rest should be okay. Oh, I didn't connect this yet. We need a 15er. Right about here. And go. Nice. Um, but yeah, we should probably do a bio sludge build. So it's going to be low priority. Um, wasn't it literally just wood and cosmic water? Don't really have room to make another drop off here. I mean, probably technically we do, but I'd really rather not. Um, let's see. Just 
just empty all this out. And drop in our default space rail block. I'm sorry, what flat solar is in the way? Oh. So it is. That should be fine. Cool. Add some scaffolding. And I think it was biochemical facility. We can make bio sludge from biomass, you know, that thing that needs bio sludge. Yeah, I remember, I think this is how we had to do it in uh, SE.5 with no K2. So getting that first little bit of bio sludge to get the loop started was a little bit annoying. Um, but not that big of a deal, honestly. We can make it straight out of biomatter. I think we'll go for that. 50 wood makes one bio sludge, which means we'd have to go insanely fast for wood. Uh, I think... A, so half a stack of wood or a tenth of a stack of biomatter. They both take one second. This is a lot less stuff to put on a belt as well. That's something to consider. And I do mean a lot less stuff. Um, we'll probably go for this recipe. I'll just double check there's no other, like, machines we need to consider. Um... Don't think so. I think all of our, like, bio sludge for the sake of bio sludge recipes come from the biochemical facility. That's decontam. And yeah, that's everything. All right. So I was going to compare how much space it takes to make how many machines it takes to make uh, a good amount of biomatter to wood. And I'm pretty sure biomatter was going to win out. But even if it wasn't way better, uh, which I think it will be, oh, I haven't even put, I haven't even put beacons here yet. This is 8.8 .8 per second. Uh, so with beacons, we can go a lot faster if we need to. Um, how much are we consuming to do that? 88 petroleum. Okay. Oh, we're net negative on oxygen, which means I should have put one of these over here. keep up with the new build. In any case, I want to put some beacons in here. I should go down there myself, actually. It'll be a little bit easier to do the beacon that way. Welcome, welcome. Ray is okay. Good to see you again. Well, hope you're doing well. Willkommen, willkommen, irishai, irishai. Um, where's my bio sludge? Just a bit to the right. Here it is. And the obvious where we're going to put these. Alright, how's this? Negative 80%. This will probably be a lot more power than that. Negative 60. I think I can live with that. Max consumption... 
It's only 60 kilowatts each. If we're paying 10 megawatt... 20 megawatt for beacons, uh, we should probably... Maybe have it go a bit faster? 7, 10 kilowatt each? 1.36 megawatt, that might be pushing it. How about this? 7, 10 kilowatt. Electricity, that's what I want to compare. Uh, that's 28 megawatts compared to... Whoops. Twelve point oh four. Okay, no, this is fine. Robots over here. We need a atmospheric condenser, which I believe I can handcraft pretty quickly. Now, what about the oxygen? Uh, we need to change this back to materials. Oxygen is net positive. Well, probably don't need the efficiency module. Yeah, no. It's negative 80%, just like that. Much schnell bitte. Apparently I don't have a handful of pipes either. Oh, that's it. Perfect. Alright, so that is... 12.8. It's not that much more. 12.8 biomatter per second. Uh, probably still quite a lot compared to how much we're going to need. Unless we just need to make one more block to do the same thing. Alright, so drawing board. Um, we'll probably do a half block, and I think it's probably going to be more than we ever need. Speed modules. So that is negative 70% power consumption. So it's one solid, one fluid in, and one fluid out. Pretty easy. I'll try eight of these and see how it looks. That's... Did I... misread that? 1,000 biomatter per second? What? Uh... I did, I did not misread that. It's 136 biomatter per second per machine. R r indeed? Um... Maybe I should just put this in the block. But then I need, like, one more drop-off somewhere. And and then I would need a pick up for bio sludge, but yeah, bio sludge as well. That's not going to happen. Okay. Um. So how fast does this make bio sludge? Only one o eight per second. That seems terrible. Did I misread something somewhere? What if we make it out of wood? So. Over a thousand bio matter per second, or five point four k wood per second. That seems excessive. How many? How many inserters would it take to keep up with one of these? 680 per second. If we had a superior inserter doing direct insertion. That's 1296 degrees per second. 
times 12. Oh, well, sorry. 1296 divided by 360. Because 360 is one insert. 3.6 times per second. Uh... Forty-three point two per second. It would take sixteen superior inserters to keep up with one machine. Surely there's something we're missing? I don't know. We're not accidentally putting in, like, super speed modules, right? No, these are tier 3s. Maybe I should do one of those little quarter builds. I'm, I'm really starting to rethink, like, maybe we can fit Biosludge in here somewhere. How fast does this whole block consume biosludge? 1.17k per second. I know that this is probably super overkill, but like... Jeebus. Do we have another block that consumes biosludge? I don't think so. Oh, how about this? This can do 136 per second. Hmm. And at max speed, this spits out a, a ton of biosludge per second. I think this is all of the recycling block we'll ever need. Overbuilt is not something we recognize here, indeed. Alright, do I have like a... A little quarter space somewhere? Whatever, let's just... Let's just build this in a reasonable shape. So we're gonna do bulk rail unloader. And then we're gonna have... Fluid in, fluid out. And maybe just... Maybe we don't even need a... You know what? I don't, I don't think we need a beacon for this build. I really don't. Oh, it's two fluids. Inside you there are two fluids. Um... Probably more. What if we did this? I kind of want to angle it so that bio sludge output goes here, perhaps? No, it's one fluid. It's one fluid, one solid. That's tough. I had it, I had it right from the beginning. Okay, we can definitely move these back for a fast unload, and we could probably put this here. Oh, even better. Even better. Pumps, like so. It's actually looking pretty cool. Um, unfortunately that part doesn't line up so well. I could put this here and put pipe here, or... Actually? No, I wanted... I wanted the inserters to be able to reach. 
So yeah, let's put this up here. One superior inserter each. And then... Whoops. Just like that. That doesn't look too bad. Especially for the symmetry. How fast does this go through? Only 416 cosmic water per second. I don't think we have to go too ham. We may as well put the containers together like that though. Alright, so this is going to be a green station. It's both a requester and a provider. So we're going to say... Provide threshold, 60k. Request threshold, 60k. Negative... Seventy K cosmic water. Actually negative negative hundred should be fine. Cause it's never gonna get to a positive number. It's definitely not positive sixty K with that offset. It's not gonna get confused and think we've got cosmic water available unless we somehow drop off way more than we have uh, way more than we should. And then we will have to tell the pumps to behave. So we're going to connect them to the logistic train stop output. If we're trying to drop off cosmic water, it should give us a signal of less of negative one. And if we have a positive signal for bio sludge, that's how much the train is asking for. And then also biomass goes here. Seems good. Hmm. Should I do anything about balancing the biomass? We can fit six train loads. If we ask for two train loads, we're not going to have problems, like, even if all of it ends up on one side somehow. TV Yoki, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Provide threshold for the fluid is 60k. And we are requesting biomass. No, biomatter. Big difference. 100, 100 times 2. And that should be it. I could allow short trains to come here, but why would I? Alright, let's remove all of the unnecessary scaffolding. And... Get rid of this. Actually, just, just delete this and then place our default rail block on top of it. Should have gotten rid of this as well. There we go. Alright, uh, and I think since we have such a small build, just to be a little bit fancy, let's make this space platform plating. Make it look a bit nicer. We'll just add all of this here and then maybe trim it a bit. I like the way that part looks. Hmm. 
Hmm. More like... More like that. That looks pretty neat. Yes. I like this. Right, so this is... Uh, requesting and providing. Bio matter. Cosmic water. Goes into a biochem facility. Uh... Not sure what to do with my naming convention here. And out comes Biosludge. And we need this to be a low priority pickup. Because we always want to consume... Um, priority. Where are we? Provide priority... Negative 100. Because we always want to consume our recycled biosludge first, rather than making new biosludge. Just like we do with... Uh, well, kind of like we do with thermofluid. It's a little bit different. Alright. Snap to grid. Actually, I guess we're not going to snap to grid since I just did it in a quarter block. Unless I'm going to pick up the entire block to paste it in. Uh, modules, entities, train stop names. Fantastic. And if we want to go faster, we'll just make like four of these in one block. Actually, I wonder... I can't quite tell if I left room... I don't think I left it of room to do like eight times in one block, but that would be ridiculous anyway. So with bio sludge, is there like thermofluid where most ends up recycled? Yes. No snap to T hex is going off the rails. Moving on. Uh, so this is bio sludge. We get the snap to. Um, and yeah, that's it. Don't think we need to test this one, do we? I I am almost. Madly confident enough to think this will work without testing it. Alright. Um, where should we put it? Maybe here? I think we should put it here. What, did, I wasn't I trying to move the... Uh... Oh. Here it is. Fertilizer. I just forgot to add the tag for it. Did we end up cleaning up the old fertilizer that I put in the wrong place? Not yet. Okay, how much do we have here? 5,000. That's exactly two train loads. Let's set it to provide stack threshold 50. Cool, cool, cool. Now then. I think we'll put it here, where we have a nice short trip. Hmm, it's actually kind of not the shortest trip for, for fertilizer, but whatever, it's fine. Wrong game? 
What was the wrong game? Name a dupe? Oh, I see. Uh, let me fix that real quick. Let me fix that post haste. I knew there was something I was forgetting. There we go. And you can have that back. There we go. Fantastic. All right, bio sludge. Let's get it. And grab our scaffolding train first. Wait for... It's probably not going to take that long. And then... Beacon sickness. Oh, I remember this. Not worried about it. Alright. Construction train. Over here. Civil plate. And once we've got the scaffolding... Place the blueprint proper. And remember that the construction train doesn't have modules, probably. It's fine. Honestly, I doubt we're even going to need modules here for quite a while. Three trains inbound. We should see if this works immediately. So there's our cosmic water. And the pump's connecting correctly. Here comes our... The train doesn't have superior inserters. Okay. I see how it is. I see how it is. Bio is such a big project. Oh. Iridium gear plus plate. I think we did that. Iridium gear plus plate. That was a long time ago. Get out of here. To-do list. I think I'll put an icon here for the elevator, though. Alright. And... Go. I would have been happier if those were in sync. Oh well. So how fast is this without modules? It's only 8 bio sludge per second. But I get the feeling... Even that is probably kind of fast compared to how much we need to actually add to the system. We shall see. So I'll just double check. The bio sludge pickup is set as a high priority. And this one's actually extra low priority for the provider. But it's going to be the only place um, where we can actually get some bio sludge. Oh, wow. Even with just speed modules and no, uh, no beacon, a single superior inserter can't keep up with this. Two are unable to keep up. Three can keep up. Damn, how much is it? It's 104 per second. And there's just enough room for three as well. You'd almost think I did this on purpose. Calculated. Alright, so we are up to... Uh, apparently there's... Oh, it's a drop-off, right. 
I was going to say there's already a train picking up Biosludge, but I didn't think that made sense to begin with. But yeah, we're up to maybe... Uh, 1300? We need 60k to trigger a delivery normally. So let's see, that's going to take... Uh, 48 minutes for one trainload of bio-sludge. But we're going through 208 biomatter per second, which is a lot more than we can supply. Yeah, no, I have a feeling that this is... This might actually be all we ever need in terms of adding bio-sludge to the system. It's just like when we get... Thermo fluid started, it takes a really long time to saturate. So we should probably probably fix up all these little things. Probably figure out what we need to do to get Bio 2 finished in the rail network. Anything else missing here? Sure enough, we don't need that one. And I think that's pretty much it. Oh, it's working. Neural gel is coming in. And that's going to spit out more bio sludge. Fantastic. Not that we're not massively net negative on bio sludge if all of this is working at once. But it'll take like almost, probably like 8% of the stress off of it. Is this bio sludge connected to anything? I don't think it is. Oh. 1.5k bio sludge. 1.5k bio sludge. No, I think it is. I just can't see where. No, I think it's confused. Because of the way the machines touch. So this bio sludge goes up here. That's supposed to be neural gel. Um, could probably put this here. Seems good. I can't remember what recipe this is supposed to be. Oh, I think we have our answer. It's connected through Wi-Fi. <laughs> Indeed. This bio sludge is connected. This bio sludge is connected. It's just the middle ones here. And how much bio do they spit out? Like 10? 54. So what's the best way to pipe this around? Maybe... It's actually a bit tricky. I think I remember wanting to move this because of this problem. But now it's still not in a great spot. There's biomass on the belt. Uh, I do have a bit of scaffolding here, so if I move this down one tile... Should be all it takes, right? Wait.
Is that connected? Yeah, it is. Presumably it's trying to pump it up this way. Not that I can see. Alright, uh, that's not connected. There we go. There we go. Maybe if I'd done undergrounds here, we could have made it a bit tighter, but who cares at this point. Alright, we have about 8,000 bio sludge. Now the inserters are in sync, but out of sync with each other, if that makes sense. That's going to be running for a while. You can grow that stuff in space? Which stuff? Maholic? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Underground's nearest to the middle... Look too long? Nearest to the middle? Is this one? Oh, these? That's all connected. Probably could have brought this through here and this up here, but whatever. Archimaxes, welcome, welcome. Vexor Navy issue, welcome also. Fixed it as I typed, fantastic. It is a fairly common occurrence. Alright. Um, let's suppose that all of this works already. What's our next step? What does it take to make um, the catalogs? We'll have all of these. We we do already. No, we, we're waiting on some inputs for biochemical at the very least. Uh, catalog 2 is... Experimental genetic, which we will have over here, I think. No, experimental genetic is an input for this one. Uh, it's over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just put some tags here. Genetic data, experimental, and just regular genetic data. Fantastic. So we know we've got those two. Uh, we need biocombustion resistance data, biochemical resistance data, and biomechanical resistance data. So that's three more card builds before it's time to make a... Well, do a copy-paste edit um, and make a catalog machine. Um, and then, not until that's done, is it worth doing a copy-paste edit to do bioscience. But we're not that far off Bio 2. I kind of wish I'd put this in the top right corner so that we could do our usual half build here. But it's fine. I'm thinking we'll do these builds like here or here. In any case. How much time do I have? Hours. Fantastic. Let's jump into the editor again. Well, there's no reason to bother with that yet. Um, scaffolding. Build the whole thing. 
And we'll start working on... What was the next data card? Biocombustion resistance data. I'll just make absolutely sure that we haven't done that yet. That's from our spaghetti. Fantastic. Uh, so what was that machine? We need thermodynamics facility. And I think we also need biocombustion resistance data for the same uh, tier of catalog. Nope. Uh, yes, we do. That's the thing I meant to pick, actually, as opposed to biocombustion data, which we've done. Okay. Beacon goes here-ish. And that's negative 70% power consumption. Let's see what it looks like if we cram 8 around the beacon. Oh, we could actually do more than that. Sup, T-Hacks. How's stuff going lately? Ben Wu, thank you very, very much for the six months. Much appreciated. And a welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. How's stuff going lately? Um... I survive. Let's put it that way. It's fine. What have we got here? Two solid, one fluid, two solid, one fluid. Oh, and it needs a swap chest. Um, how fast is this? 2.7 per second. I think we'll go for... Uh, what is it? Six on either side. Familiar pattern. And we need to swap. Experimental biomass. Back and forth. Things improve, thank you. Alright, so first of all... Well, we could just output everything here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'll do it that way. Output everything. And filter output... Uh, Biocombustion resistance data. And then like this, perhaps? Probably have to move it up a bit over here. down a bit about down here. Um, so no filters on the output, we're just going to filter it here instead. What's our input for solids? Really, really slow. We can just do a half belt on the outside. Fluid is also really slow. Pattern true. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It's good you can keep track of what you've done or not. Bioproducts make my head spin. It's definitely easier, yet again, with factory search, because I can search by the product of a machine. Very handy. As if it wasn't good enough that I can search the storages of the, like, train loaders. Alright. So I'll put this down here, I think. And then belt, like so. Nice and symmetrical. How fast is our output fluid? Really slow. Input fluid, really slow. It's going to be one of these patterns again. Take a break in a minute. Uh, in 
input, output, bulk rail loader, right about here, bulk rail unloader, right about here, that's a loader anyway, unloader, right about here. This is going to be a really, really straightforward build. Because everything's slow and we only need a split belt input on each side. Alright. We'll do our test inputs like so. Set filters blacklist on the inserters. Connect to each container. Shift right, shift left. Action, and then I think I'll do it like this. What does it eat more of? Uh, blank data cards, I suppose. Not that it matters. And I want to line this up with our output delivery cannon chest fantastic action limit these to one cargo wagon each that reminds me, I think there was... Uh, are you okay? It's trying to empty. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, you can stay there. Um, I think I forgot to limit the front the fertilizer here. But it's so plentiful, I don't think we need to worry. That'll fix itself regardless. I've actually got plenty of extract. Did I mess up? Oh, we've got the extract here. Cool, cool, cool. What else are we missing? Experimental genetic. Okay, cool. Um, so we're going to do the usual... I could put it here, I guess. In which case... Have a faster fluid drop off for our very, very slow input fluid. Very important. And then, like this. Oops. It's nice to have a just really neat, easy build for a change, actually. Well, I guess it, I guess it recycles experimental biomass. For, so for someone who hasn't figured that out yet, uh, it's not super duper easy. But I don't really have to even think about it anymore. Let's put in some article stream and see if our swap chest thing works properly, which it should. Come to think of it, I don't think... I don't think superior inserters are necessary for any of this build. Now we can actually see the inserters. 
I wonder if it's more UPS friendly to have the super fast swing speed though. Um, but yeah, that seems to be working. Maybe we should have faster inserters in the middle. No, I think the direct insert makes it as fast as we need it to be. Mr. Superior 3 down? Indeed. I was just checking. Make, making sure you're paying attention. Uh, we also need a fluid output, I almost forgot. And we can probably just squeeze that down here. But actually as far as that reaches, yes. And... Um, I don't have a super convenient spot to connect this. Because of where I put the belts. I don't really see... I could connect it up here, that'd be a mess actually. No, let's just do... Something a little bit awkward looking over here. It's probably fine. Pretend you didn't see that. Actually, that's not too, too bad. I, I hate it. I actually hate that. <laughs> let's, um... Oh, let's do this. I think that's the least bad by far. Right. Pumps. We need this to be a high priority pickup. So that we get rid of the junk fluid. And we don't need to touch anything else here. We may as well name it properly. We're drop it we're picking up uh, biocombustion resistance data, and also contaminated biosludge. Biosludge, is that made? 4k already. Yeah, most of our biosludge is going to be recycled. Uh, and then we just have the slightly arduous task of setting up Now drop off. 1.5 train loads of each. Oh wait, uh, how fast are we going through experimental bio? I know it's slow, but compared to the stack size, it's actually only 20% of a stack per second. So we can probably set that to like... Um, one and a half train loads as well. Alright, so 500 is one train load, 750 should be two. It's so small. We are requesting also plasma stream, blank card, bio, experimental biomass, requester, Goes into a thermodynamics facility and out comes this thing. Biocombustion resistance data. Don't forget to connect this. Don't forget to request the fluid. And I think that's it. Let's remove the excess scaffolding. Including this part. And add a little bit back. Just so it doesn't look as tacky. I'm really a little bit tempted to go through and change all of my scaffolding builds in the space base. 
uh, to be platform plating, just so it looks nicer. It would add up to a lot, but we could do it like one block at a time. It depends. Can I do an upgrade planner for tiles that are underneath the buildings? I think I, I think I can. That looks pretty good. All right. One of, I think it was three data card builds done. We need to actually build the thing first. Seafercat, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. Soulburn, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Combustion resistance data. That's a mouthful. Veldak, welcome in. How's your stream? Regnar, welcome, welcome also. Alright, we need some snap to. I forgot to get... No, I did get rid of the cheat items. So we don't need to do that again. And that should be it. And fantastic. Um, whoops. Where are we going? Down here? Just Matt Stonks things? What? The Gosen welcome also. It was a webcam brand webcam. I bought a second camera that is broken on arrival. Oh no. Also created the worst character. Don't worry about Matt Stonks. Okay then. Well, at least if it's broken on arrival and you got warranty, right? It's as straightforward as that's going to get, I suppose. Um, let's put our new data card build. Wait, 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 wait. Should I build another data card build next to it? Possibly. So we've already got experimental genetic. The other two are biochemical resistance and biomechanical resistance. Um, experimental biomass blank and two fluids. And I was going to do the swap chest thing, also the junk data card thing. Oh. One of the output fluids is contaminated bio sludge, so we could share here. That's not the worst idea. And what about the last one? Do we want to put those last two together instead? They both output both fluids. Biomechanical data plus experimental biomass plus lubricant. Hmm. I think I'll put the two that use blanks next to each other. So biochemical will do here. So let's put in more scaffolding again. And back here. That's probably fine. Better at break before rather than during, indeed. All right, we'll do a drop off right about here. Does that? link up properly, it do, add some signals, and what machine do we need for this one? Uh, a biochem facility. Didn't I have some of those? Yeah, there we go. It was biochemical resistance data, right? Yes. Yes, indeed. Um, 
We can't fit as many of these giant machines. Probably won't need to. And... Two fluids in, two fluids out. That's going to be a pain. Uh, how much... How much throughput of solids do we need? Well, first of all, let's do... I-O like so, perhaps. We'll have plenty of space to work with. Um, inputs are really slow. That should be fine. And then... That doesn't quite reach. Oh. That's a bit irregular. Is that okay, actually? If I put this here, which I was thinking of doing anyway... And then... Just like that. So that we can have the belt. It's only two solids in and they're slow, should be fine. We can do the same thing on the opposite side. Cool. What about outputs? Uh, we need swap chests, so I think we'll copy-paste this, flip it around a little bit. That's that's not quite right, because the machines are different sizes. I will take inspiration from it, though. Uh, are we even going to be able to do it that way? Hmm... The way these are rotated, there's no common pipe connection point down the middle. Which means I'd have to have like four pipes out on each side. Can I rotate them so they're the same? Think so? Um, but that doesn't actually give us a common... This one would. Alright, so contaminated cosmic water... Down the middle. Um, that might be a problem as well. Let's see. If it's output, then it starts here. Once again, this thing thinks we're connecting fluids, which we're not. Okay, if we do it like this... That's our cosmic water out. And there's no room to output the bio sludge. I might have to make this longer. When I swap chests, I'm a criminal and no longer a doctor. <laughs> oh no. I could do a sushi belt to output the uh, experimental biomass. We've got more room. I should be using it. Oh, also there's junk cards. If I want the junk card output to be on the same side, then actually we're kind of cramped. Does that last build... 
also use junk cards? Maybe I will put those two together. Biomechanical... it doesn't. Okay, maybe I'll put the jump pickup over here, even though it's kind of awkward. A repeatable pattern I can do here. That's actually looking pretty good. Except that this would be at the end. Well, that's fine if we don't need to output solids, which we kind of do, but maybe we can still get away with it. I suspect not. I could borrow some more deep space undergrounds. If I get into the habit of doing that, we might have problems. But we barely need any. Right? Yeah, we, we hardly need any of this. It's going to make for a much cleaner, smaller build as well. So, contaminated cosmic water is all connected. Uh, contaminated bio sludge can be connected with relative ease, I hope. Yeah, surely. That actually looks pretty neat. And then we can do like... Whatever fits here. A couple of fibers looks pretty good to me. And then bring that over here, bring this over here. And maybe move this in a little bit. If we can. It's still going to be a little bit off. I think I'd rather move it one to the right. So that we can do it like this. I really only need the undergrounds, but I feel like this is going to look too tacky. Is that it? Basically? I think it is. Let's test it. Oh, that's a little inconvenient. Maybe I could do it like this over here. Just so that we can fit the pairs of inserters. Why do you use efficiency modules? Isn't electricity like free in space? Not entirely. And we're going to be able to go way faster than we need to anyway. Probably. Uh, fast inserters should be fine. What's the output rate? Output is like 1.3 per second all up.
All right, let's do out inputs. I might just test, make sure everything's... connected properly first. So this is going to be Vitalic Acid, which, if I'm not mistaken, looks a bit different. Maybe I'm just misremembering. And then Chemical Gel, and then Chemical Gel, Vitalic Acid. And then, and then... I can't shift right, shift left here, but it is experimental biomass. And blank data card. And that seems to be working. Alright, don't forget we need some... Some pipe output. This could actually just link up like so. It's actually very tidy. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. One too many. How about a couple of sevens? No, that seems unnecessary. How far does this reach? And this is 13 tiles. Hmm. Fine. Oh, great. No, don't put that there. Luckily, that one lines up conveniently. And then we need contaminated cosmic water to find its way over here. That's not quite right. That'll do, probably. Where should we link it up? Right about here? That's one off being perfect. Actually, let me do a couple of fives there. And this should look cozy. I kind of like that. All right, now for the last little hurdle, we need to set up the input properly. Also name our output station. Uh, what is this? Oh. Oh, I didn't set the filters here yet. Wait, there's no swap chest. Oh, no. Um, okay, what's the overall rate for this? Because I don't think we're fitting swap chests in the middle very elegantly. I could do, like, swap chests here, kind of, but... I don't think they'd look that good either. I think a sushi belt might be nice. Oh, that doesn't reach as far as I thought it would. But what's our, what's our input rate for the whole thing? Less than half a belt of blank data cards and way less than half a belt of experimental biomass. So I think what we'll do is a nice clockwork... Clockwork? I was going to say clockwise. Down here. And up here. Fantastic. What was I doing? 
Sushi. I think we need a shared container for the sushi. Actually, since we consume it so slowly... If we only ask for a train load and a half, we can put it all in one container here. The solids, that is. And... We'll just figure out where this fits first. So I'm thinking... We bring this back in up here. Bring these through like so. We'll filter for one thing each so that... It doesn't hyper-prioritize one over the other. And then we just do... Split belt. We need to leave room for outputting... Um, experimental biomass, though. And these will have to be filter outputs. Uh... Filter in... We're going to need long filters, which means superior, so we may as well make these superior. If only to be consistent. So this is going to be... Biochemical resistance data and junk data card. And on the outside, I guess something like that, close enough. All right, uh, this is only going to be experimental. Biomass. It's going to be on the outside belt. We're going to have a solid half a belt of blank data cards. I guess we could just do half of each. That's actually sort of easier. Probably do it with just one splitter if I simply push everything back in here. So we do blanks on the inside. Experimental on the outside. And then 50-50 it. And I think that's all there is to it, actually. Because 50% is going to go this way, 50% is going to go this way, and there's only one input. So we don't need to worry about input priority. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see about getting our fluids sorted. That actually lines up pretty well. And... I guess we can just bring this up here. That's actually going to fit really nicely. How many tiles is this? Five. Uh, 
I think it'll just look more consistent if I do this, I guess. Alright, pumps go here, and... Oh. Is that actually a problem? Hmm, it might be. But considering the overall throughput, I don't think it is. Alright, so we're going to have our simulated train drop-off up here. Uh, set filters blacklist. Put stuff in. Apparently I set this one incorrectly. Oh no, it's putting the blanks in first. I think I'd better set this up over here. So obviously that would be a little issue when the train drops off. For the first time at least. What is wrong with this? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I didn't... There's a filter on it, that's why. Maybe this would have been fine, actually. I have my doubts. Wow, that's different. Ohio, Mr. JJ, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So yeah, because we're doing half a belt of input, there's always going to be space to output the uh, experimental biomass back onto the sushi belt. And then it's all just going to get recycled up here. That seems pretty tidy. Read the words. Welcome in as well. Why do you use efficiency... Oh, I read that already. My bad. Um, okay. Let's put... Let's get rid of some of this scaffolding, and then we'll put some back to make it look a bit less tacky. Need to get rid of the cheat inputs first, though. Must consume vitalic acid real slow, because I got rid of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got rid of that a minute ago. Alright. Scaffolding. Like this, perhaps. Looks okay to me. How about this? And then up here. I think that's pretty deep. Oh, 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 don't forget. Wires and wires. We're connecting to the logistic train stop output, which will give us a negative number for whichever fluid we're trying to get rid of. Negative one. That way we know which pumps to activate. Split junk cards to somewhere. True, true. Um, gonna need to empty this anyway. I wish I could filter from this thing, because now this is gonna be a bit of a problem. Hmm, I think I'll have to move this up a bit. Just so we can have a splitter. That looks kind of weird. Let's do it like this, maybe. And normally I would put junk cards here, but it's a little cramped. So it's going to be just a bit hacked together. It's probably fine. Probably. All right. And belt. 
That actually sort of looks worse. No, I, mm, I've changed my mind. Bit cool as I am. Alright, this needs to be high priority pickup. Or junk data. Bad. They're all gonna have to be high priority pickup because every station here has some kind of junk. Uh, this is gonna be biochemical resistance data to the left. And all of you should be limited to one Kyber wagon each. Actually, with junk cards, we should only allow big trains to pick them up. And we'll just use a splitter. Did I name this station? I did. It's going to have the same settings. So this is biochemical resistance data and contaminated cosmic actually. Seems good. Graph lives on. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, um, I think we'll maybe put a 7 here. Nope, that's going to be bad, actually. Because of the underground over here. How many tiles is that? 9, fantastic. We already knew that, though. And... Tidy that up a little bit, I guess. Alright, so I guess I need to give it test inputs again. We've already got a million chemical gel. Um, we'll add some vitalic acid. And that should work. Auto save. It's going to become very tempting to use underground. Uh, sorry, deep space belt for things like this now. But we've got more than I thought we did. Um, but yeah, that should all work just fine. Alright, blueprint time? I think it's blueprint time. So this is biocombustion resistance and biochemical resistance. I'm just going to call it bio-C resistance. And hope that there's nothing else with that naming convention. I think it's actually... That's actually perfect. Bio-C resistance data. Fantastic. Got rid of all the cheat items. Snap to grid. 86.25.1. And... go. Oh. Oops. Uh... this way. Cool, cool, cool. Let's figure out where we're gonna build it. Um, I'm thinking right here, why not? 
Also, construction train is still here. You know what? Well, no. We need the scaffolding train first. Let's park scaffoldy over here. Wait for inactivity. And... Grab our blueprint. Two data cards. And we'll have to wait till... All that scaffolding is actually placed before we can get the construction train to do anything. Probably have to send it back for the specific low stack size um, assembly machines as well. I might grab a drink. No, you don't. Okay. This goes here. Left click, no shift. Fantastic. Beautiful. We do have the biochemical facilities at least. There's our plasma stream. There's our blanks. Feels nice when blank data cards just show up straight away. They'd better, considering how many how much stuff we pour into them. How's our junk data card refurbishment build with the output? That's not the one. Um this one? Oh, the lurch. Construction train is doing its job. That looks fine, actually. Perfect. Alright, so we need to come back with Deep Space Belt. And 12 Thermodynamics Facilities. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, uh, goddammit. Twelve thermodynamics facilities. Probably don't usually need twenty of these. Um, and I should probably fly over. Oh, wait, where am I? No, that's fine. Philip B, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Late a few hours and you basically finished the mod? Or how did you unlock Deep Space Belt? No, we found some. You got some in Nalvis Orbit. And I forget if there's anywhere else. I think that's all. Yeah, 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 that's fine. Yeah, we're rationing it carefully. But, you know, when I built... When I built the belt, uh, the pipe output here, and then looked at what was needed for the belt, I just... No, I didn't want to restart that part. When it would literally take a pair of undergrounds. Well, not even that. I guess I could have used regular space belt down here. So really, technically, all I needed to use was two underground belts. 
Did we activate this? No, we didn't. It's definitely we, if I made a mistake. Alright, so same thing as this one, minus the uh, plasma stream. It's going to be two fluids. Um, this one. And uh, this one. Forgot about that? Yeah, I did too. Thank you very much for not forgetting the Prime Gaming sub. Five months. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. Wasn't there some other... No, that, that's everything, actually. All right. Trains are already on their way. Fantastic. I don't think we're getting experimental biomass or vitalic acid. Well, I know for a fact we're not getting vitalic acid delivered yet. We haven't made any. Or at least... No, I, th I don't think we've ever made vitalic acid. Yeah. No, we have. We've made 35k. Must have needed it for... Here it is. Yeah, I needed it for the... Uh spaghetti signs. But I haven't done a build for it yet. Alright, construction train... What are you waiting for? Constant combinators? What? How are we short on constant combinators? There's only one autocrafter active? Oh, I think I know the answer. We probably need to like, make more of these because we're putting them in more buffer chests. Alright. And then back down you go. Wait for inactivity. And that should get everything done in one go. Except maybe for speed modules. How's this looking? We've never had experimental bioculture because we've never had experimental genetic data. Because we've never had biochemical data. Because we've never had biomass in high enough volume... put into the train network? Oh. Well, that helps. Judging by the fact that there's only like a couple of train loads here, I think we'd be waiting a long time still. Which one's it going to deliver to first, though? I suppose it doesn't really matter all that much. We really just need to get proper throughput happening. Uh, we're missing modules. And I meant to ride the... I like how this block has two examples of how to deal with the recycled experimental biomass, actually. Uh, I meant to ride the train back. Let me just borrow this one. Wait for passenger present. Fantastic. How's that bio sludge? Um, products finished 9,500 on each of them. Uh oh. We're out of uh, bio matter. I didn't expect it to take that long, actually. So what have we got here? About a third of a train? How long does it take to get a train load? 100 hundred. 
divided by 12.8. Only 781 seconds, which is 13 minutes. Remains to be seen if we should double this. Okay. What was I doing? Coming back to the mall. Oh, I need to tag this. I need speed modules. Probably not, to be honest, but I would like speed modules. Over here. Bio C. And I believe that just leaves one more data card. Oh, I almost forgot Vitalic Acid. Um, we should probably do that first, give it time to accumulate. So Vitalic Acid is simply Extract and Nitric Acid. This is going to be a really, really straightforward build. I think I can steal from Fertilizer. One solid, one fluid in, and then instead of one solid out, it's going to be one fluid out, right? What's this? Yeah, I'll just grab this, and we'll probably already still have it over here, actually. We're just going to change the recipe to Vitalic Acid. Uh, we don't even have to change the request for fluid. And we need Vitamolange Extract. How about 200, 100 plus 10%? How long does it take to go through 2,000? Uh, a while, probably. Hmm, only 42 seconds. Uh, I think I'll make this like 25k. Just so there's a bit more time for the train to catch up. And then we don't need super fast solid output. Or any solid output, for that matter. What's our individual rate? Four per second. I don't think long-arm inserters keep up with that. Even... Uh, even if they do have maximum stack size upgrades. Oh, wait. Let's do it like this. No, there's no reason. Um, this one's going to be a little different. And we need some pipe output. I can't believe I procrastinated this build a little bit. It's, uh... About as easy as it gets. How much Vitalic Acid are we going to need? How many things consume Vitalic Acid? That's mole stuff. That is... One Vitalic Acid for 0.9 of a data card. 30 for Bioscrubbers. I know we're going to need a lot of Bioscrubbers. Um, so we probably want this getting churned out kind of quickly. We also need it for Naquitite. We can also use it to make Bio Sludge. Which I'm beginning to believe might be easier than the way we're already doing it. We'll look into that. Maybe I'll have a block that makes Bio Sludge like four different ways. And we'll just, like, prioritize and share. Vitalic Epoxy. 
All right, I think we're going to need lots of Vitalic Acid. How fast is this? Only 126 per second? Maybe I should try and make it faster. This doesn't need to be far away. Oh. Yes, it does. Because there's a beacon in the middle. If I were to double this... I think I'd rather do... Can I fit... So much of this being a copy-paste edit, can I fit uh, this twice? In here? I think so. Quite easily, actually. Actually, there's like one or two tiles spare, if we want to stay in the margins. I think I'd rather do the outputs like this, which means I shouldn't have got rid of that input belt. Oh, well. How fast is... It's only 126 per second. I don't think we need a pump there. And then... Like so... I like this better actually. neat enough. Is it one solid in? That makes it easy. Uh, how about like this? What's our rate? 96 extract per second. That might be okay from a delivery cannon chest. We're gonna find out. Sure, just for the sake of consistency. Could probably put the stations more centered since there's not going to be a station, uh, train going up this way. Let's try it. Like this? Yeah, that's good. Definitely like that a little bit better. Although, I think this will have to go around the corner. What's our input rate for the fluid? Only 192 per second. I think we'll do this. And then we can just have this one input. Actually, that 
certainly doesn't hurt. Oh, we don't even need this part. That's a bit neater, I think. We've actually got like three pieces of pipe over nine tiles here. We could go space pipe and go like one, two, three. No, that's not correct. Fair enough. Fair enough. Shall we do our test inputs? Look, it's the torture run. The torture run. Fractal Nebula. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright. Um... Oh, it's only one input, isn't it? For solids. Oh, cool, cool. Wait, I need to check if this thing can keep up with it. Zero, one, two, I think it's like 200 per second. So yeah, it should be fine. Missing inserters, right side, middle lane? Oh, this one? Indeed. Alright, and we should probably fix this as well. Alright, so now we just need nitric acid. And the whole thing should come alive. Not in sync, because fluid catching up. Fantastic. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So what's our rate again? 253.44 per second. I wouldn't be shocked if we're going to need more than one station for this. But for now, this should be fine. We could always double it in the block. If we need to. Right. Vitalic acid. Seems a good. Snap to grid. Get rid of the cheats. 86.25.1. Check that it snaps. Check that it rotates. And put it in next to, uh, actually, yeah, put it in next to the VIT stuff, if I can. I guess that makes sense, since it's on the ground, using prod modules. Alright, where do we want to put this thing? Um, over here? What's the, what's the input for it again? Extract and nitric acid. Extract's kind of fast, and nitric acid was pretty slow, if I recall. So I think we'll put it close to the extract. Like, right here even? What's going on? What's going on here? Oh no. Uh, I think I didn't leave room for sand with this direct belt. I could just turn this around. Nope, no I couldn't. Okay, how about this? Isn't that just going to take sand out of here? When the time comes? Oh, it's already filtered. How is this already filtered? 
Don't question it. That'll probably fix up all those trains. Pro probably. Are we almost empty? It looks like you are empty. Wait, no. No, you've still got a cargo wagon full of sand. And this this isn't empty. Oh, I see. That might help. That might help. How are we not? Oh. Well, there's your problem. I think I said earlier that I should have put limiters on this oh well, and then... Problems. There it is. I'll just keep trains running these things until I get over there. Almost forgot the reason we were looking at that area. Let's put... this one right next to extract, because why not? And we'll need a bunch of advanced chemical plants. I'm pretty sure Construction Train already has those. Just park here and wait. I like the cascading problems in Factorio, indeed. Oh. Uh, I forgot I... Hmm, it's not too late. It's not too late. I forgot I wanted to move that station a little bit. I want it to line up with this one. So... One, two. Perfect. And then I can't exactly do selection of contents. I'll have to do the blueprint again. Because bulk rail loaders, unless they're facing north slash south, uh they get a little a little weird, a little upset. They don't like copy paste or cut and paste either. Then, uh, I don't know why I had to shift left click there. There we go. Fantastic. Do you not have beacons? You have beacons. Beautiful. UPS will be returning once we finish placing all the signals. And here it comes. I forgot to update the station name. Need to wait until we don't have trains on the way. Otherwise, things can get weird. All those trains are gone, so it was just that one thing. And I think... Well, we've got our construction train here. Actually, I kind of want to go do it myself just so we don't end up with, like, 
nuggets coming back to the mall, which are never ever going to get cleaned away. So down the elevator we go. D hose, good to see you again. Well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Listen to that train go. Uh, I forgot. It's gonna automatically go back up there. All right, um, please park here for the moment and wait indefinitely. And then we're going to go back up the elevator in a little while. Okay. Do I even have purple belt? God damn it. Does the train have purple belt these days? It does. Alright, come over here, please. And we'll get that bot issue sorted out for you as well. Alright. Nuggets back in here, and we need some. Hmm, how should I set it up? If we're looking for 15k, each of these individually, check for 7.5k nugget. That's 75k. should do it. Make sure there's room for sand to be dropped off and also negate the need for a train to go from here to here. What are we working on today, Kappa Beast? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We are working on Bio 2. But to get it actually in the rail network and stuff. Do it properly, now that we've got the advanced chemical plants. And up we go. Left output facing wrong. Pretty sure it's facing right. Oh, this one. Huh, thought I checked that. Oh. Alright, so there's... Vitamelange going relatively strong again. And pretty soon... Oh. No, 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 I remember I turned this off for a reason. Uh, we want to fix the name. So we're making Vitalic Acid, and we're requesting... Uh... Extract? There it is. Fantastic. Ship it. We probably need a bunch of extract first, though. Now that there's more than one train picking up extract, maybe I should put it... No, it wouldn't even help. The vanilla schedule train is going to be prioritized no matter what, so... Glows, uh, Glorasks. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
Hello, hello. Is there any counter on how long this playthrough is already going? There is. Uh, it's about two-thirds of a month. Hmm. So where's our Vitalic Acid Train? It, looks, it sounds like it's saturated upstairs. Uh, not Vitalic Acid, v Extract. Yeah, it actually is. Cool. So it actually won't be very long until we get Vitalic Acid. Doing great, thank you. Fantastic. Hope you're having a great day as well. Thank you. Two thirds of a month with no pause. That is impressive. No pause. I don't know about that. Uh, let's see. So now that Vitalic Acid is effectively accumulating, we need one more data card build to be prepared. Uh, and then we'll have everything we need to make uh, catalog build and uh, science build the buyer live since 22 days rip up time 22 days oh no okay um, so now that we've got these ones done this was bio C right yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just double check that we have the blueprint. Bio C resistance. Fantastic. And thank you for the follow, Glorax. Alright, let's auto move all of this mess. And we only have one more data card to go, right? How do you switch from game to editor? There's a mod called Editor Extensions. Um, you can do a scenario with it that basically gives you a cheat save. But the thing I'm doing instead is with that mod activated, start a normal game go to settings, mod settings, per player tab, and under editor extensions, it's the last one. It's called testing lab. And whenever I press control E, uh, instead of like activating map editor mode, activating cheats uh, in my main game, it jumps me to this surface instead. Are you bringing ventilate? Uh, acid up the spell elevator. Yes, I will be. Lancel. Lancelock. That is such a cool trick. Yeah, it's very nice. Especially on such a long playthrough when we sometimes need to accumulate lots and lots of stuff. That we can be designing while we wait for things to happen is fantastic. Alright, so the last thing we need for broad catalog is biomechanical resistance data. Biomechanical resistance. Oh, forgot to check what machine it's made in. Uh, shockingly enough, it is a mechanical facility. There it is. Uh, it's another one of these that swaps the... that recycles the experimental biomass, and it also has two fluid outputs. So maybe I want to steal from myself. From that last build. Well, it's pretty easy, actually. Something I've done a few times. We just need to do a sushi belt. Oh. Oh. This is the kind of double fluid output where we're not going to be able to have these close together. Yuck. Cool. 
Gross. Oh, wait, yes we can. It's only on the sides that they're the same type, like, the same type on this side, the same type on this side. Here we've got two different fluid outputs. That'll be fine, I think. Okay. So we're doing the lubricant in the middle because... It is going to be easier to deal with one fluid in the middle. Um, should we do swap chests in the middle or a sushi belt? Maybe swap chests. The rate is probably going to be kind of slow. Four data cards per second. Consumption is like four and three per second net. So, how about this again? Individually, we're looking at super slow numbers. So, something like this. And don't forget the lubricant. There's not room to do it this way. That's fine, I suppose. That's not fine, I suppose. Hmm. That makes it a little tricky. Okay, how close together does this need to be? Also, we have two inputs, right? So I think we'll do it like this. Uh, we need to filter for experimental biomass on the left, biomechanical data on the right. Gasp theft, indeed. Fake humanoid, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um... And then, just like that, over here. Um, if I put this down here... No. Not going to be able to fit that together. With the beacon. I could move things one tile away from the beacon north-south. But I think we've got plenty of room on the sides. Wait, does that reach? Yeah, it does. With little baby connectors. So we can probably just put this here. And then input belt could be like this. Oh wait, we have two solids out. We could do solid output in the middle. Right where we have the swap chest. I think that's a good idea. So we'll do input, input, input. Experimental biomass and biomechanical uh, data. Here it is. And then we just say, actually, we can probably just leave it at that. So we're just going to have filter of the actual output, which is biochemical resistance data. That doesn't look right.
Biomechanical resistance data. Oh, gross. Little slug resisting getting squished. Let's see how long it lasts. That's what that icon seems to imply. Um... And then we have input. Just like this. So the recycled experimental biomass is going to stay in the chest until it gets consumed. And our actual output is going to go down here. And I'm hoping that should leave more than enough room to have lubricant. Uh-oh. Okay, worst case, we can approach it from both sides. Um, but we can probably have our lubricant pipes connect to everything. Like so. I think we can just do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then... But then, but then... I guess this goes over here? We'd have to have... I think we'd have to have these ones from the middle... Looks like this, and another underground here. And I guess this one could go here as well. I don't think I mind that too much. Now we'll need to do the same kind of thing up here. Um, so this one will go here. And then like that. What's our rate of lubricant? Probably really slow. 20.4. Seems good. So if we do a cheat input for lubricant, we should find it reaches every machine. Now we just need to connect this over here. And those are outputs. They should already work. What's this missing? Seems good. I like that quite a bit. Good evening, Koha. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, let's add our uh, regular rail block back here. And then some IO. What are we outputting? One solid. Oh, and a couple of fluids for pickup. Um, that we need to get rid of. I think if we connect like so, perhaps, 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 something like this should be fine. And I should move this over a bit. I want it to line up with our delivery cannon chest. And connect this over here. And we'll 
need our... Whichever fits better. Maybe this one. I could have... Hmm. I could swap these around on this side. So it'd be less symmetrical in one way, but... This would line up better. I don't think this even reach... It does. No, it'd have to reach up there anyway. It's fine. Uh, I can't connect these here though, so... Let's put a 3B... You what? Let's put a 3B over here. And then realize we still can't connect that. Good, good talk. And we'll just need that. Can you prioritize the stuff in the chests over the stuff from the belt? Uh, it kind of does automatically. Partly because we're only getting 25% experimental biomass back. The inserters tend to take turns. But also, when we take from a chest, it takes it in, like, one frame. It doesn't have to, like figure out where it's picking up something from the belt. Um, but yeah, you can certainly put, you know, some wire connections to make sure. Like, you could make this a set filters blacklist um, on a filter inserter. So basically, anything that's detected in this chest, it will not pick up. As you can see, that's like flickering. So now it's not going to pick up uh, experimental biomass. But you can tell by the fact that we're not actually accumulating any experimental biomass. Uh, it probably isn't needed. Probably. If it is, we'll find out the hard way together. Alright. This can go here. And... This one... Like... So... It's kind of inconvenient. That's not gonna look very good. How about this? I guess that's as good as it gets. Uh, we're not about to assume that these are going to be balanced without connecting them. That should be fine. It's getting two things from belt, so when it chooses to grab the data card first, there's time for the chest to load. That too. Alright, now we need to do input station. Bulk rail unloader. Uh, I said bulk rail unloader. There we go. And lubricant lubricant. And I think we'll just do the usual thing. Where since this is slow, we can just summon like one point one train loads of stuff for each resource. And it shouldn't matter if it gets imbalanced. Wait a sec, that's not right, because... Because we could end up with one resource on one side and the other resource on the other side. Uh, what's the rate? Really, really slow for both inputs. So I think we'll just do a big U-turn 
not exactly sushi belt. Easy enough. And we can fit uh, three train loads of stuff in one bulk rail unloader, as in six, uh, six double cargo wagons. Oh, six cargo wagons, rather. All right, that should be fine. Experimental biomass. And the other thing. Biomechanical data. And then we'll do a little test input. Set filters blacklist. Stop to sneeze. And lubricant again. And that can connect there. And we don't need this connection. That should all work. Let's remove all the lubricant to make sure. Looks good. Sastas and Vatlin. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. I think that's our build. And nothing... Probably nothing left to do for Bio 2, except for the last couple of kind of tedious steps, which are exactly the same shape as the builds for the other four, the other three uh, main sciences. And we're just going to have to copy, paste, edit, 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 and furthermore, edit. Alright, so this is a pick up four, squish bio things, resistance data, also for contaminated cosmic and contaminated bio sludge. Cool, cool, cool. And then we'll get rid of... the excess scaffolding and then we'll put a little bit back so it doesn't look all weird and sketchy or at least not as much Don't think I didn't see you there. If it floats, it floats. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so I think we set up this station already. Perfect. And... Wait, we need to tell LTN. We need to ask LTN, rather. Which, uh, which fluid we're pumping. So whichever one is greater than zero coming from the logistic train stop output is the one that the train will be picking up. Seems good. Actually, I guess we could run this across here. Might look a little bit less tacky. Arguably. There we go. And I think... Oh, we need to do inputs. Okay. So, 
Uh, we can do like 1.5 stack uh, train loads of each. Let's go with the experimental biomass first. I think that's 750. Is 150 stacks. And it should be 7,500. Or... What was our input? Biomechanical data, right? That's what that looks like to me. And of course we need lube. And connect to this wire, otherwise LTN will send us unlimited lubricant. Which sounds good until you're drowning in it. Alright, so we are looking for... Experimental, biomechanical, lube. We are requesting these things to go into mechanical facility and out comes biomechanical resistance data. Fantastic. I believe that's our build. Auto save. I like to put borders of white scaffolding under the big engines, so it looks like they sit on good ground, while the rough scaffold connects them for stability. Connect fluid tank to LTN, indeed. Why is it so hard to scroll? Just usually not commenting, as didn't play this mod pack ever. I have no idea. It's a big one. Okay. I'm pretty sure I said hello to Koha. Okay, fantastic. Bioscience equals animal testing? Something like that. Alright. Squishy bioresistance data. And I think I already removed the cheat items. Biomech resistance, snap two, and that looks correct. Let's put it next to the others, both in the blueprint book and also over here, I think. That was the wrong number of right clicks. There we go. All right, scaffolding train, your time has come, do me proud, and construction train, you're going to need a bunch of biomechanical, or rather mechanical facilities, uh, I think it was 12, and go park where construction train is trying to park. Or rather, try to park where, cons where scaffolding train is. So that we'll definitely have time to place the blueprint as soon as we've got the scaffolding. Look at those bots go, though. Have we gotten spiders yet? Uh, no, actually. I probably have everything I need for spiders from spaghetti science, actually. There it is. Uh, no I don't. It's a thousand bioscience one. Forget that. Forget that. Why are our bots... Okay, what the hell? How do we keep getting... A cargo wagon with no bots in it. With this train. It worked before. I 
Why are there 200 bots in one cargo wagon? Oh, the... What? What the... What the... What? 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 I think we need to make sure we empty this thing more often. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. That's also not what I meant to do. And give me some... Whoops. Give me some bots back. Alright, did we finish here? Looks like it. Fantastic. Away go the solar panels. And apparently not enough lighted pylon substations. Alright. Whoops, 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 whoops. Whoa, that could have been bad. Holy crap. Whew. That was a bit close. Let's double check what happens with this train when it goes back. So first we empty the train, because while we can read from the train to see what it's got, we can't check what's in individual cargo wagons. So the only way that we can be sure of what's in the individual cargo wagons is to synchronize things or something from scratch. So we're going to empty it first. And then we're going to go to this station. Um, it should be... Oh. Hmm... So we're not necessarily putting in construction bots as a priority, like we are with our other builds. Where we've got like a dedicated inserter to put construction bots in the moment that it gets here. Is it possible I'm overloading it, or did I send it back here when it was imbalanced without emptying it? Why did we get a bunch of flat solar panels imbalanced? This one has flat solars, like they should have been putting things in at the same time. Okay, something's not quite... Something's very wrong here. Um... Maybe I should only request small amounts of each. Isn't that like the opposite of what would probably work? I don't know, but once again we've got a cargo wagon with no bots in it. Alright, alright, alright. I'm going to remove bots from these buffer chests. And we're going to put... We're not going to use this system to put bots in. We're going to do a request chest like so. We're going to read from the train. Where are we reading from the train? Times negative one. I could just borrow that green wire. Instead of construction bot less than, we'll just say greater than negative 200. And we'll go stack size 2. So we should put in a multiple, uh, uh, something that 50 divides into. So, all right, 
so hopefully uh if we now empty and refill it we should get exactly 50 construction bots in each uh in each wagon oh some of them are sticking out and some of them aren't GG. Well, it's not going to be perfect, but there, there's definitely going to be about 50 in each. Why are we taking bots out? Oh, I shouldn't have removed that signal over there. Construction bot 200. Uh, let's try that again. Let's try that again. Make a filter slot for the bots? That's actually a good idea. How... What? Why are we still taking bots out? Oh, because it like overfilled them and then... Oh. I think there's a loop. When we hit 200 bots, it's taking some out. Oh, maybe we're going slightly over 200 bots. Are we taking bots out? Yep, 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 I saw it. Okay. So I'm just going to say we're allowed to have 300 bots. How's that? I should redo this system. Why are we putting even more bots in here? And now we're taking them out still. If construction bot greater than negative 200, what's this outputting? Oh, because it's on this green wire now. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. How about... Uh, less than zero. Because we're doing a positive versus a negative. Okay, once more with feeling. Let's check this build. Pretty much finished, but we need more pipe. I should also put some damn speed modules in here. Looks like we've got plenty of room in the front carriage. So let's go with... Beacon. Speed. Efficiency. And I'll just make sure I bring those up. Or I'll fully automate it. Wait for inactivity. Okay, and then we have 36, 26, 32, and this one just gained one. I, I don't understand. We've got, we've, we're subtracting what's in the train, and we've got positive 200 construction bots. Oh. This should be greater than zero. How do we even get some bots in there? Try again. Probably could have done better by starting from scratch at this point. probably going to overshoot the bots and then take some out and then overshoot it because I saw some inserter hands sticking out. No, I think we're good this time. I 
think we're good this time. Yeah, there's actually 50 or 52 in each. Um, but it seems to be okay with that. Cool, cool, cool. Oh yeah, I think I put like a... There's like a slack of 50. It has to go 50 over before it'll take stuff out. Fantastic. Nice. Alright, um, what's missing here? More speed modules? How many do we have back here? 1.5k. That seems good. Should probably carry more than one stack. There we go. Actually, wait for passenger present and inactivity. Alright. We've got some biocombustion data, biomechanical. Not very much. Oh, I think that's from when I manually took bios, uh, biomass over there. So what are we missing? It's definitely not purple. Oh, it's bio sludge. It is... It is very much bio sludge. We are making it, at least. How has our bio sludge production been? That's about what I would expect. I think there's enough area absent under this graph to say that we're very much bottlenecked on the biomatter. We probably don't need these speed modules here. You can have like 48 bots in each, so even if it's overfill with one swing, you don't waste the slot. That's true. Uh, I think we're good here now. Alright, Bio Squishy Data. Let's -a go. And I think we'll have a little tour of the base, uh, kind of, and see what's been produced. We've definitely got 60k Vitalic Acid here. Need to do a vanilla train to pick it up. Let's do that first. I was going to say we'll have a look around and see what what we're missing. Um, before I take a little break. It's about time. First we'll make our train. And give it some speed. I mean, we gave it some speed. Give it some fuel, actually. Uh, and we need a drop-off for... Vitalic Acid. Uh, water is just here as an example, because we're using ice instead when, it, when we need to bring water up. Why does that say water? No, it doesn't. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so this is going to be Vitalic Acid. Vanilla Fluid Drop-Off. Now I think... I think we'll go for this naming convention. Vanilla Train Stop. Clap, clap. Haven't checked on my spaceships in a while. Hopefully they are working just fine. I certainly haven't noticed any material shortages. That would trace back to core fragments. Alright, that looks good. And... That seems fine. What's next? Changing the name of this one. Uh, it needs to say negative 400k for... It's already set up, right? 
this one needs to say negative 400k for Vitalic Acid, because we're sharing wires across these two stations. Basically to say that no, you don't have Vitalic Acid available for pickup. Um, I think that's already set up correctly. We just need to update this station name. And then... Do we need Vitalic Acid on the ground at all? Let's see. We do for bio scrubbers. We do for bio scrubbers. All right. I think I already named the station. Nope, I did not. Metallic acid provider. If necessary, we'll end up splitting this into vanilla and uh, LTN pickups, but I think it'll be fine. So this goes up here. Wait till empty. Wait till f fluid count. No, wait till full. And let's test it. Down the elevator we go. You can do positive bio sludge loop in SE with biomatter. Can you do that in SEK2 as well? Um, I forgot to check. I'm not sure. Bio sludge. So biomass and nutrient gel makes... that's neural gel. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. I think I see a problem. Do you see the problem? Hands up if you see the problem. Well, there's your problem. And then it would go up the elevator. Let's just take it back to the mall to get refitted, shall we? Wait here... Um, I, I don't know how long. Wait until full cargo, there we go. One job, indeed. Almost there. And we'll stop this. Pick up the wagons. Put the wagons away. Pick up a couple of fluid wagons. Put these here, and it should have the same schedule still. Perfect. All right. Now let's test this properly. Back down the elevator. Away we go. I love that almost jet engine sound, but quieter. And stop at the depot. Make sure we have fuel. Go pick up Vitalic Acid. Wait till full, go up elevator, go to depot, wait until drop-off has train limit greater than zero, and go drop-off, rinse, repeat. Arguably, 
depending on how you do it, you don't necessarily need depot stops at both ends. But I'd rather not risk traffic problems. Okay. So that's Vitalic Acid. Whoops. Whoops, whoops. And furthermore, whoops. It kind of looks like it's a tile higher, even though... A pixel higher, rather. Maybe it was, actually. Oh, I'm pretty sure that was right. Let's just do it here. Okay. Let me just get down the elevator so I'm not burning... Uh, life support? We do have a ship waiting to drop off core fragments. Probably a few of them, actually. Uh, should I flick through them all and see if we didn't get that bug again? I kind of don't want to. Okay, we're only looking for the ones that are stopped above Hagen Orbit. So, 13? Uh... That's Exorion Orbit, that's fine. Veya, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Number 14 is... Has that bug. Uh... Pipe long 15 is in the way. Should be trying to stop at... Nowhere. It doesn't have a... An anchor 2 target. I mean, it has the default one, which we don't want it to land there. Hmm. How does this happen? It's always got bots ha hovering over it when it's had that mistake as well. So presumably it takes off when the bots haven't finished unloading, and they're always close to finished unloading. My theory about this before was because bots report negative numbers when they're carrying stuff around, um, that it was just the right amount that even though I set this thing to look for exactly zero core fragments, uh, which is checking the entire robot network, the requested chests don't count, so that's just the ship. Even though we're looking for exactly zero, uh, this could sometimes, I guess, cause it to send a ready signal. But, like, it would have to maintain that exact number for a while, because we've got a timer here. 300 ticks, that's 5 seconds before the ship actually gets a launch signal. Um, we have to have all four green signals, including this one, to say the ship is ready to launch, and then we start a ship ready to launch timer. I can't imagine... I can't imagine this reporting exactly zero Vitamolange core fragments for five seconds straight when the bots are unloading... Maybe that is what's happening, because... It's when they stop moving. If this is full, completely full, and there's still Vitamolange core fragments in the ship... So, I don't know how much, I don't know how much further I could go with, like, not telling the ships to, hmm, unless I'm going to put signal receivers on the ships, like, we're not allowing the outposts to report to request a ship, if there's any Vitamolange core fragments in here at all. 
then we won't send a ship to pick up Vitamalange core fragments, if I recall correctly. Um, let's see. Oh, if it's less than 26k. Fair enough. 26k is like... We tend to send two ships at a time, so maybe... Maybe I should multiply this maximum load by two. 18,520. I don't know why we keep sending ships in twos, but if we were to say Core Fragment Vit, there has to be room for two ships worth of drop-off over here. Before we send any ships. But, uh, no, that shouldn't, that shouldn't cause a problem, because we've also got x has to equal y, which is to say available logistic bots e has to equal total logistic bots, which means all logistic bots have to be available, they have to have come back into the roboports. So if they're hovering here... If they're hovering here, there should be no way of sending a launch signal. Like, if I were to... Because everything's filtered with the storages, right? If I were to make sure we didn't have storage space for media defense ammo, and then, like, put some media defense ammo in my... Uh, in my trash slots. We'll try that now. Where are we? I want to go to the Vitamalange one. Oh, it's in motion. Okay. Um... 12 Logi bots. Yeah, no, this is perfect. Uh, I don't even have to demonstrate it. These Logi bots are hovering, therefore... X is not equal to Y. Therefore it's not sending a green signal. So how the hell are we kidnapping? How are we launching when we've almost emptied the ship? And how are we kidnapping bots? And how is it happening so rarely? Like, really, really rarely. Uh, I don't know. I do not know. Alright. Time for a break, I think. We do have a bunch of Vitalic Acid being made. Um, there should already be quite a lot in space. And maybe even up here already. Fantastic. Do you have any timer to send ship away? Yes. Yeah, when all the conditions are met that we should send the ship, we still wait five seconds just to be sure. It has to reach 300 ticks um, of... The ship is fueled, the ship has water, the ship... Uh, is empty, the bots aren't moving. I mean to skip condition. Do you have a time to send ship anyway? No, 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 no. I do not. Alright, uh, let's do some LTN screensaver. And I'm gonna fire up some words on stream. And we're gonna find out if Feldak is listening. Veldak is asleep. Let's just check that I set that up right, actually. Yes, I think we did. 
The hers is awake. Okay. So I'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Looks like none of our outposts are requesting right now. All right, let's continue. Whoops. Whoop. What? Wait. Wait. Wait a minute. Whoop. Nope. 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 That's enough. That's enough for now. Okay. Okay. GG. There's Veldak. Welcome in. Or welcome back. As the case may be. Physics? Wait, what? Yeah, we've got more than enough ships, because it's actually taking a while for this one to get dispatched, even though it's ready to go. Hmm. I'm this close to, like, giving up on why this rare bug happens and making a... Why do I even have the clamp that's ID1? Is it this one? Yeah, it is. I could change that. But, like, maybe I could make a drop-off that's ID1 just in case that bug happens. And then our ship, which is trying to land there now... Um... Wait, what? This is not the same ship. There's no box. And it's full. So it fixed itself. Eventually. How did it fix it? No, no, no. There's two There's two ships here. Sneaky. I think it's number 14 that's stuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can the hovering bots die from hazards and meeting the conditions? Condition for launch? Uh, they won't die, no. I don't think so. Definitely not when we only have 50 Logibots. But yeah, um, so if it... What's this thing's destination? 1.1k moon orbit. Uh, that's Hagen orbit. Um... How on earth does it have a destination of Hagen orbit and also elevator cables and ammo in the memory cell? That's really strange. But yeah, I'm this close to building a drop-off that's just specifically to handle this exception. Because it's so hard to diagnose. It happens, like, probably less than 1% of the time. And I've stepped, like, twice. I've, I've stepped through everything logically. And it should be impossible. So, if we end up with a ship hovering like this, with Destination Hagen Orbit, uh, Anchor to Target Left Clamp 1, we should just have a Target Left Clamp 1 somewhere. And we'll have to do exactly the kind of drop-off that I didn't want to make. Which is one that can handle every type of core fragment. But... Since it's not going to receive visitors very often, we could just set it to, like, offer everything that's in the robot network to LTN. Um, we'll take away core fragments, uh, everything but core fragments, send it back to the mall, and once we have, um, like, a hundred or so stacks will let LTN send a train for that. And we'd have to make another... Uh, another, like, dispatch channel to launch the ship again. t -Hex, how far do you figure you're into the SE pack as a percentage? Well, if you look at sciences, we've got Energy 3... Material 3, I believe. Yes. Material 3. Fantastic. Uh, definitely Astro 3. And we're about to have kind of Bio 1 and 2. Like, we've done Bio 1 and 2 in spaghetti. So that I could unlock advanced chemical plants. Um, so that I didn't have to build Bio 2 without advanced chemical plants. 
but we're getting very close. Um, well, we've actually got some resource shortages. I, as far as I know, that's the only reason. Um, it, I think it's all bio sludge. Bio sludge is really slow to get going. Um, yeah, someone mentioned a loop to make bio sludge using biomass. Is it the one that spits out contaminated scrap? If we if we get thirty bio sludge from one biomass, it also spits out. Oh, that's the wrong recipe. It also spits out thirty contaminated bio sludge when we make 10 of them, so like 3 per biomass, but we need nutrient gel. Nutrient gel costs 50, no, 20 bio sludge for 50. Um, so what? 10 makes 1. So this makes five. So four bio sludge makes one biomass if we ignore bioculture. Bioculture uh, also needs 50 bio sludge. But it makes 10. So five bio sludge. So nine bio sludge, I think it is. Nine bio sludge to make one biomass. And then we we pay 10 cosmic water to get 21 bio sludge and one contaminated scrap, effectively. That kind of sounds like a bargain. Um, is it too late to cram it into this block somewhere? Probably not, since... Well, if we're going to export the bio sludge, it is, but maybe we don't have to worry about exporting the bio sludge. Except then we have to output contaminated scrap. Uh, I guess we can do it here. So we need a biochemical facility or two. I'm pretty sure I remember it being really fast compared to input. It only takes four seconds without modules to consume one biomass. Hmm. I guess we could still do an output for bio sludge here. God, bio is such a tangled mess. I mean, our biomass that we're making to make bio sludge is uh, taking its sweet time. So I think I think it's worth giving it a try, at least. How do you figure? How far do you figure you're into the SE pack as a percentage? Hard, very hard to say. Uh, maybe fifty percent. Maybe. Bio takes so much longer to sort out than the than some other ones. I could do like a train drop off and pick up right here as another different way to do bio sludge. But then we'd need a train load of biomass. Oh, I, I think it's better if we belt that on the spot. A nice short distance. So... We've already got biomass on one of these belts, actually. It's the far belt. Convenient. 
Let's bring some trains. And park yourself over here. Wait indefinitely. And maybe construction train as well. Might be a good idea. Such a big block. Wait indefinitely. Having it be closed loop in the biomass build would need to be deprioritized over decontaminated? What do you mean by that? Not sure if I understand. Uh, can we get some of these? Make bio sludge from oh uh that gives us crude oil i don't want to deal with the crude oil output okay wait 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 do we even have cosmic water here we do okay thank goodness for small mercies um, we'd have to pump it all the way down here. But uh, that can be arranged. In fact, that lines up pretty well. About some 15s. And what's that, a three? Good enough. The water flow won't be that great down here, but I don't really want it taking cosmic water as a priority. It's actually a really small amount that it's asking for anyway. Um, so... Oh, I was going to put it down here, actually. It's probably fine. Actually, this way we have room for the pipes. So I could either put the bio sludge pick up here. I don't really have a... Oh. Yes, I do. That's... that's actually super convenient. Okay. We're just gonna put bio sludge back in the system this way. Um, how about we do a little test? Oh, we actually always get contaminated scrap from this. That's a little bit unusual. And I can either belt contaminated scrap all the way up here for an output. It would kind of be nice to have the two junk outputs here, but then I'd have to somehow get belts through there, which is not looking very hospitable anyway. But I think I'd rather have the shorter belt go this way. Um, I'll just decon this for a sec. Bulk rail loader. Put these signals back. Make it a high priority pickup. And I guess I accidentally left room for a belt here. Isn't that nice? Um, I could put a loader there, but it's going to look really weird. 
There's only one solid output from this. We could probably jump across here, and then about a splitter. Right about that. The number of patches I've had to make to this build. Bioscience is rough. Okay. That looks pretty good to me. Now we have... Contaminated scrap. Contaminated scrap. Provider or active provider, because we do not want to let that get full. And then. I don't know how well that's going to work when we're not, like, prioritizing this very much. It's not like I can make a high-priority loader. Hmm. Oh, there it goes. I guess if we're getting any more biomass? Is this, is this actually looping already? Even though only half of it gets the chance to be picked up by these? How much does it need? 50. How many recipes did we just do? Two? If it was two, then that's enough. As long as nothing else is taking the biomass, uh, biosludge first. Uh, where is the pipe going? It, it's go, it goes up here, through here. And I would have thought... Oh. Yeah, 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 it's going to get consumed by this way before it gets consumed by this. Calculated. So did we just make more bio... Uh, yes and no. This can work. Um, it's just... Oh, no, no, no. It's working. It's working. Here comes more biomass. And then we get just a little bit more over here. And this one actually stole all of it, which is kind of a good sign. So this should get 50 a bit faster this time, I imagine. Since this one is required for the loop, maybe I should make that a 7 and put a pump here. So it's kind of prioritized more. Let's help it speed up. Why not? Oh, we already put those all in. Fantastic. And now this one is beginning to produce bioculture much faster. Fantastic. I love that the shape of the pipes just happens to, as far as we're concerned, uh, prioritize 
Well, once these are consumers, it's not going to prioritize the loop. Um, I can't remember. Oh yeah, it's tier 3 bio. Maybe I could make another pipe so bio sludge comes back here more easily. But maybe it wouldn't even be necessary once things get going. What's this other build again? Um, I never named these stations, so I can't remember what recipe this was supposed to be. This is very clearly significant biomass. And this is, I think, the third tier of, like, squiggly data card. DNA-looking data card. Fair enough. So this... Oh. Oh, I didn't finish building this, actually. Good thing the construction... trains... are out of range? Really? Oh, I guess so. Okay, please come up this way. And please come up this way. Fantastic. I seriously doubt we're going to need any speed modules here or anything. Alright, um, that's supposed to have a delivery can and chest, and that is supposed to also have a chest. Fantastic. Alright, this one is tier 3 biomass provider. And this one is, I'm pretty sure, was it comparative genetic? I think it was probably comparative genetic. Cool, cool, cool. Now we're getting somewhere. That might actually just keep going until bio sludge is saturated. Uh, it's gonna take a while. Especially considering how thirsty this is. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's not possible. 60 per second and this would consume 870 per second. Good gravy. Is that by far the fastest way to make bio sludge, though? Last playthrough, um, I had a drop off for bio sludge that was in like this kind of block, sort of. Even though it was where we produced the bio sludge as well. And it ended up being... we ended up having too much. Hmm. I guess we'll see. They're really not having trouble taking almost all of the biomass that comes this way, so... I don't think we need speed modules on these. Probably. Probably. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Okay. I was about to check, but, um, yeah, we just got enough biomass to summon a train. That was certainly effective. Yeah. 
Yeah. Hurry up, auto save. Mach schnell, bitte. Hmm. Even though it would involve trains carrying things with stack size 5, maybe I should... No. I should put another couple of these up here somewhere. Perhaps. How would we fit them? Cosmic water would have to go around. Bio sludge would not be much of a problem. This thing's in the way. It's not going to look very tidy. Why don't we just speed this up? I said we wouldn't need to, but... Uh, actually, now it seems like a good idea. Should probably be enough to take biomass until it saturates, basically. Yeah, it's not even letting any biomass over here. Oknos, thank you very much for the Prime Gaming sub. Much appreciated, thank you. And a welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, that is starting to accelerate. Yes. It's almost as fast as this machine can go now. Very good. Okay, now it's not quite that fast. Let's check our stats, actually, on VATS. Vault assisted targeting... Wait, what? Where are they? Hold on. Aren't these called... Oh, bioculture. But nutrient VATS, we're consuming those. Why couldn't I find them? Tango paintbrush? Nice name. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Bioculture. Bioculture go burr. In the last six minutes, it's really picking up. I think we've achieved takeoff. Cool, cool, cool. I think, uh... I don't know how I want to go about this now. Because this seems to be by far the best way to make biomass. Uh, biosludge. This is... This block is going to be by far the biggest consumer of biosludge. I want it to be able to leave room to drop off biosludge, always. I kind of want to make it a provider of bio sludge, which we could fairly easily do up here. It would still be a lower priority than providing this machine with bio sludge, I guess. But if this is ever to go remotely close to full speed, oh my goodness. Wait, how, how do we have this much bio sludge? Holy... Holy crap. Did we just drop some off? I don't think so. Or maybe it's like one or two of these machines that's getting a relatively decent amount. Uh, Nutrient gel is saturated though, so I don't think we have to be that stressed about it. Perhaps. 
we're definitely going to have some burst potential here. Let's put it that way. Experimental is way down here. Ooh, we have some. And I forgot to limit this. Fantastic. We've already got all the genetic data we need. We have a little biochemical. Uh, we have experimental genetic, which means we're going to be getting tier 2 specimens soon. Cool, cool, cool. I just don't know if... If I want to put a limit on this, perhaps. If I sent a signal to say... To check how much biomass, uh, bio sludge we've got. I could just put a big container here. That would be a pretty good indicator. Like, I could even just put... Yeah, 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 I think I like this. Uh, we'll put this here just so we have an idea how much bio sludge we have. And... I definitely want to stop producing bio sludge this way when... I don't know how much... Because when everything's really moving, we're going to have a lot more bio sludge coming back that's been processed as contaminated biosludge, right? And I don't want to not have room for that. Um, we've got a lot of room for it here, obviously. And we've got a very thirsty consumers for it here, theoretically. Although... We're not having that much trouble keeping up with nutrient gel yet. So, if I say stop the machines, oh, that doesn't work. If I say stop the machines if this is 60% full, that should should be reasonable, right? We're going to leave plenty of slack to drop off a lot of bio sludge. And we're going to let the pipes get full enough that we could consume bio sludge at a decent pace for a while. Yeah, that number... that number is still going up. I think it's going to reach some equilibrium, maybe? Because... We're going to maybe reach our maximum with this. Shouldn't we be... if we're bottlenecked on biosludge, why is this going up still? Oh, I, I saw it flicker down. I think we already have reached an equilibrium. No? Yes? Maybe? Um, whatever the case, I think we probably should... I, I'll just put a beacon here. Instead of building more of these machines. Why not? Uh, we're gonna need to make sure that... That we're not encroaching, that we're not giving any of these uh, other machines beacon sickness. Alright, let's grab ourselves some scaffolding. And. Whoops. Drop that off over here. Copy this here. Make these faster. That should be more than enough to... Oh. I was going to say to consume all the biomass that's coming along the belt. Uh, I could make a little... 
Could maybe make a little storagey thing here. Why not? Why not? We're gonna really prioritize this. Um, yeah, that should be fine. Give me some space loaders. There is a beacon sickness error notification. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Oh no, no, no. That's the wrong... That's the wrong train. Where's the beacon sickness? Oh, you're saying if I messed it up. Yeah, no, but I could see that I was going to touch these if I didn't put this up here. Um, okay, so that goes here. No. That goes there. That goes there. Okay. Fantastic. And how fast does this guy consume? 3.4 per second. Alright. I want to have, like... 50, at least? And 50 here. Why don't I check both of those? Uh, greater than 100. So we're going to capture biomass here and let these partial boxes fill up. Because making more biosludge so, so that we can make more biomass is a higher priority. Actually, I'm surprised this one is getting biomass now that I look at it. Um, that's fine, that works. Maybe I should... Limit these to like one stack each though? Next to the logistics storage alerts. Oh, I know where that is. It's in the mall. It's the ammo for impulse rifle. Because I was trying to get... I forget what up here to go faster temporarily. It was copper cable. We needed a lot of copper cable for something or other. In fact, I'm just going to take this limit off. That seems fine. Alright, we're still bottlenecked on... Oh, I kind of made this unlimited. Maybe I should limit these to one cargo wagon each, so that we'll sort of end up sending a little bit more over here. How did it get this imbalanced anyway? Hold on, is it imbalanced? I think it's just the length of the belt is the reason. That seems okay. Beacon Sickness, I like it. Me too. Oknaz, Buvim, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. There is a beak. Yes, yes, yes. No, at the bottom, next to Logistics Storage. Oh, 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 I already... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Let's pick this up. And suddenly the trains do turn out to be in range. Well, whatever the case, this is going faster and faster. Um... Uh... 
I think I do want to hard prioritize making bio sludge out of biomass. So what we're going to do is say read belt contents hold. And then if biomass is equal to eight, we're going to deprioritize the rail network. Keep going till we reach our target for bio sludge. It's getting very close to going full speed. I wonder if it will go full speed with our the shape of our belts. I would imagine the change that I just made. Uh, it's going to take a little while for the fluid system to propagate through here. The more full this gets, the faster it's going to push to the emptier pipes. Maybe if we added a pump or two, it would already be going full speed. It's very close. I want to see it tick over to full speed. It's so close. We're just getting a little flicker of red now. Hmm. Is it gonna reach? Maybe? Maybe, maybe? That actually saturated surprisingly quickly. Why isn't this letting stuff through? Oh, greater than or equal. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, which means I guess we're prioritizing biomass all the way over here to completely saturate before we send it to the rail network. Uh, which means 600,000 neural gel? Hmm. Maybe I could set this to, like, greater than or equal to four. So if there's half a belt of bio sludge over here, it'll let some through here. I think I'm happy with that. As long as these keep working... Yeah, that should be fine. We're actually getting close to maximum... Uh, maximum speed on the biomass. Which is totally determined by this, honestly. Oh, I think it is going full speed. I think... We're not seeing any red here. It's not the bio sludge now. It's actually... I think, I think it's because we need a stack inserter or two to take out um, the bioculture in one tick. Because we're seeing that yellow that means the output is full. And we're seeing a gap just as long as that happens, it seems like. I bet if we were to... Put a couple of stackies here. One on the one side. Oh, no, 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 please. Oh, no. I forgot they needed a filter. Oh, no, where's this going? I need to find out. We're going to end up with some data cards at the end of these two belts. Whoopsie daisy. And over here. That should be all of them. Nope, nope, nope. There's some more. Um, and I think that's it? That's not a junk data card or anything, is it? 
might be. Okay. That should be filtered. And the filter is... Uh, culture. And then we're going to just let it do its thing. We're going to shift C. That's going to get imbalanced. Actually, no, it's even distribution that does that. So it should be fine. Right middle line polluted? What do you mean by that? Right middle line. Oh, 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 right. This one? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Put that back in. And now it's junk cards. Wait, is it? What just happened? Why did I see junk card output saturated? Now we're running out of vats, which means this stuff is consuming biosludge, which means we slow down again. Okay. Um, and I was going to set this to the near side. There we go. Where is the emergency shutdown button? OSHA violation? Indeed. Yeah, I think this is now at least theoretically capable of going full speed. Once we have a lot more bio sludge, which, uh, once we get 60k here, we're up to 39k. Once we get 60k contaminated bio sludge, uh, it's going to deliver that over here. And we're going to suddenly have 60k, or very almost 60k uh, bio sludge over here. When that comes back, we get a sudden burst of more nutrient gel and so on and so on. Very good. Nice to see all this finally moving. I knew the, uh, the bio sludge coming from biomatter would be a bit slow, but, um, maybe not that slow. I think I should copy this build down here, get more bio sludge. In which case I'm definitely going to need... to add some stuff over here. We're going to need a decider combinator. Just to tell the train stop to have a train limit of zero, unless there's enough for a pickup. Because the vanilla train won't know not to come here if there isn't enough. Alright, so we're going to say biomatter. I O matter less than 100 hundred or greater than rather greater than equal not put one set train limit by matter it's just the way I like to do it and then Look at that cute little pistol mag build. Uh, and then I think we'll put another one of these. I was going to put it here. We could really go ham and go for like four of them. It's really only petroleum that they're consuming, and they consume it kind of slowly. So... So yeah, why don't we make a bunch of these? 
Don't see any old power poles in there. And that should be fine. Let's go ham. We need a whole lot of bio labs, which I don't think we have over here. Um, we're gonna have to request them. What do they stack to? Like five or something? Actually, farming creep. That's so strange <laughs> indeed. Uh, they stack to twenty-five. That's fantastic. We only need two stacks for each of these. We might have two stacks available over here. We should probably send the train back to find out. Wait for inactivity. Uh, what? What? Okay, whatever. Uh, wait for inactivity. And wait for inactivity. And then go back and empty and reload. And we'll see which cargo wagon has a couple of inventory slots available. We also need to finish this block right here. Fantastic. Bullets surrounded by biomatter, indeed. Where is the biomatter? I can just scroll to it, I don't have to type. And... I don't think this is gonna collapse our petroleum supplies somehow. What's wrong here? We don't have the same problem at this one. Uh, the main idea here is to produce coal. Petroleum is a side product, right? We don't even have prod modules in these. So what, what happened with... Oh, it's fine. Was it just... Why did it say no path? Oh, it was trying to come to the new build. That's fine. That's a perfectly good reason to no path. And I should have looked and realized no path. That's not a problem with the... Uh, well, that's unlikely to be a problem with the train block. Especially when it's an established build. Are we gonna... Are we gonna cliff explode that or what? Uh, apparently not. Let's give him a hand. Ooh, look how thick that belt is. Oh my. Oh my. There's a lot of activity here. Fantastic. Not too long before we start getting purple biomass as well. Okay, where are we going? Up here. Need some cliff explodies. So you're telling me we used 20 cliff explosives already from our construction train. I guess it's possible. I didn't see that many cliffs, especially on this planet. Let's -a go. Where's construction crew? There we go. Uh, I don't know what... I do know why the stone wasn't removed by the emptier. It's because the bots are coming back in now. That's why we have this system. Cool, cool, cool. We should have a few slots left over, I think. 
No, I'm, I'm, I'm getting it confused with the train upstairs. Uh, there's quite a few slots in this one. All right, we need bio lab times fifty. That's two stacks. Actually, let's just do this once. Uh, two hundred. And biolab. One hundred. So that gets doubled. There should be... Oh my god, that's a lot. That's a lot of trains bringing different things in small quantities from the mall. Maybe I could... Maybe I could do something to make this thing, like, not report to LTN all the time. So that it'll report to LTN in chunks and we'll load up a bunch of different stuff into a short train like we used to see. Hmm. Well, in any case, do we have our labs on the way? Oh. Well then. That's a... That's a, that's a yes. Yeah, maybe I could do a little timer signal to only report once a minute, but I don't know if, uh, I don't know how often LTN train stops get pulled. Well, I do from the mod settings, actually, but... Maybe I could have it, like... Output a signal for one second, like, once a minute or something. But then when I do stuff like this, it wouldn't be very responsive. That's probably all the bio labs we had as well. Yeah, it is. Let's just forget about making all the bio labs in one trip. That might be a little bit silly. Since I didn't, uh accumulate 200 bio labs just in case. All right. Um, I'm just going to send this train first. Wait for inactivity. Wait for inactivity. Wait for inactivity. And we can probably drop this number a bit. Resell that gets reset on timer. Hmm. I could it I could do it with two combinators. Um Wait, actually, that'd be tricky because we're sending so many signals. I really should fi uh, outfit my trains with extra engines and Tesla coil too. Do you use batteries to keep them charged? Um, yeah, so these... Well, we have to use battery packs for the space locomotives. But... Oh, you mean the, the stuff in the cargo wagons? Um, not really, because... Roboports have a lot, and I do mean a lot, of battery built in. Uh, internal buffer... Recharge rate. Somewhere or other, I think it says how much... We, we actually did science to check. And then someone said, somewhere or other, it just says how much... Uh, charge capacity is in the robo ports, but it's a lot. So you may as well get the battery charge, plus the robot range, plus the capacity for more robots. We can't put modules in if we don't have enough bio labs. Um, how many have we got left? Oh, that's 48. 92 in total. 
here comes another those uh, underground pipes. I thought I oh I did. I did upgrade these to superior inserters. But it needs two hundred biomatter for one recipe. So we're bottlenecked on that. Also Kappa Beast, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Master of my fate as well. How are you? In-game and IRL? Um, okay, not bad. In-game's going pretty well. And Archimaxes, I think I saw you earlier today. Blaz, welcome also if I didn't say so. And Zethrus. How are we doing upstairs? I think that'll make me happy. Let's see. Oh. Nope, nope, we're fine. I thought things had stopped for a second, but that was completely wrong. Um, bio sludge over here is saturated. I mean, biomass, which is definitely what we want to see. How much bio sludge do we have? 4.3k. I can't remember if that's more or less than we had when I last looked. I think it's like a thousand more. Two K is definitely more than five hundred and something. We're definitely gaining biomass here, uh, but not enough to s not enough to speed run nutrient bats. That's okay. I mean, that's what I'll say. Where are we going? We are most of the way to getting the tier 2 samples. Alright, did we get any more? Oh, we did. 50 biolabs. We're actually much closer than I thought. Let's go inactivity... Five seconds is probably fine. And... I think we can do it here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The pathing prediction before wasn't that great. I guess it predicts the path from where the train is at the time, not where it could be. Uh, not not from the temporary stop previous to the new one that you're making. Is this working? No, we have no oxygen. We'll soon fix that. Oxygen will be included. It's actually a little slower to handcraft than I thought, but... Uh, I don't know. Maybe I should go back to the mall. Maybe I should go back to the mall. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme give some... Atmospheric on... Fences? Yeah, that definitely would have been quicker. Did I just trigger the walk of shame? I just triggered the walk of shame. Let's hope I don't get run over by a train. Actually, I'll make sure I don't get run over by a train. Oh dear. How about we trigger personal logistics? And stand over here. And then get a bunch of stuff we don't necessarily want and watch our inventory size plummet. But it's all too much to manage. Alright, we got our rocket fuel. Let's go. Let's -a go. Biomata go burr. Fantastic. I need more speed modules, a lot more speed modules. 
And there it is. Stars she blows. And loaded testing. What have we got? Zero. We have zero bio labs. We want forty two. I hate client part of web development so much. So it is. Um, how long until we get those? Wait, it's not even trying to make them. It's trying to catch up with the belt. Because I took a bunch of belts that I didn't even need. Oh, no. Well, these two blocks are finished. So why don't we just... Get our train to finish those properly. Assembly Machine 3s, that's so cute that I would think I would need those anymore. Alright. Park ourselves here, park ourselves there, wait for inactivity, and that should get it all done. So we've only tripled our uh, biomatter throughput. We didn't bring enough speed modules for this, did we? Let's go grab some more. Let's go grab some more. Whoops, that's not enough, probably. We need 48 times 3 per block. So like 130-ish. Uh, more like 144. Yes, 144. I am math genius. Fantastic. That rough estimate was pretty far off, though. Oh, right, I forgot. We don't even need the uh, efficiency there. Bio matter? Line go up. Line go up very fast. It's only like double what we had before. I thought it would be triple by now. Is there something wrong with these? Maybe it's just waiting for oxygen to saturate. Because I'm pretty sure we're slightly net positive on oxygen, and each recipe wants only 50. It's just going to take a while for the pipes to fill with O2. Cool, cool, cool. Meanwhile, in space... 4.2k bio sludge in here. It's looking very good. Very, very good. I think we can send our trains back home now. Nice. Well, I'd love to stay and see experimental genetic data get picked up for the first time, but we're already a bit over time for today, and we have another couple of Factorio streams directly ahead of us. So for now, let's find someone to raid. Thank you, Veltak. We got rain. I think we'll raid rain. Why not? Um, I mean, rain's doing SE. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bungie bum. Thank you for the greeting. Rain, rain, rain. Raid, raid. Indeed. Thanks for the stream. Thanks for hanging out. Blue lightning. And everyone else as well. Thank you all for watching, do take care, and I'll see you next time.
check out the Discord or Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. And till next time, stay safe. Take care, guys. See you next time, Evil Plot. And Veldak. Well